presence of a uh, physical presence of Senator Amy Marcos. Ma'am, good morning. And the uh, members of the Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs who are also uh, present uh, online. We have Senator uh, Bongo, Senator uh, Grace Poe, Senator uh, Revilla. This morning, we are going to tackle Senate Resolution 185, 194, and 195 on the resolution uh, alleged, uh, on the alleged uh, rising number of kidnapping and uh, related incidents. For the record, uh, Senator uh, Rebilla also filed Senate Resolution number 287, but awaiting referral uh, to this committee. Uh, Secretariat, me please uh, acknowledge uh, our resource persons uh, present today. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We would like to acknowledge the following guests from the different government agencies, from the Department of Social Work, Social Welfare and Development. Uh, we have here Miss Miramel Laksa, together with her arm. Uh, Ms. Mary Grace Blando and Mr. Garrett Paris. From the Philippine National Police, uh, we have with us Police Lieutenant General Jose Chiquito Malayo. Morning, sir. Police Brigadier General Joner Estomo from NCRPO. Police Colonel Rodolfo Castile Jr. And the other officers and enlisted personnel and non-uniformed personnel are with them, sir. From the National Bureau of Investigation, we have the officer in charge, Deputy Director Jose Justo Yap. Morning, sir. And the director, Deputy Director Jose D. Dolo, Dolo Iras. Morning, sir. From the Bureau of Immigration, we have with here OIC Deputy Commissioner Fortunato S. Manahan, Jr. Morning, sir. Also with him are Deputy for Intelligence, uh, Mr. Benito C. Legal Division, Attorney Howard Santos, Attorney Candy Tan, and Deputy Chief for Operation, uh, Mr. Ho uh, Attorney Jose Dennis Xavier. From the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation Offshore Gaming License uh, Department, we have Assistant Vice President Attorney Vic uh, Padilla. With Assistant Vice President of CMED, Ms. Diane Erica Hogno. And Mr. Robert Luke. Kiao, Vice President for Compliance Monitoring and Enforcement Department. Also from the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, from the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry, we have the President, Dr. Henry Lim Bon Leong. Morning, sir. Uh, Mr. Victor Lim, Vice President. Morning, sir. Mr. Cecilio Pedro, Vice President. And Attorney Christine C. D., uh, the Policy Director. We also have the Chairman of the Movement for the Restoration of Peace and Order, Mr. Kakwen Chua. Morning, sir. That's all for now, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Komsek. Uh, how about Pagkor? Eh, Pagkor ba? Ah, meron? Ah, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We would like also to acknowledge the online presence of uh, my uh, vice chairman of this committee, Senator Jingo Estrada. 
Again, good morning. Uh, oh, meron tayong apat na resolutions uh, referred to this committee at uh, isa lang ang uh, objective nito, kundi imbestigahan itong uh, spate of kidnapping sa uh, na nangyayari dito sa ating bansa para maklaro natin kung ano yung estado ng peace and order ng ating bansa at uh, matanggal yung mga alinlangan, yung takot ng mga kababayan natin. Dahil nga, sa social media, sa mga video na nagkalat ngayon sa social media, talagang uh, ang reaksyon ng mga tao ay uh, puro pangamba at uh, takot. At uh, ako mismo, being the chairman of uh, public order and dangerous drugs, I, I am in receipt of a lot of texts, a lot of uh, uh, messages inquiring me. Sir, uh, pahintuin ko na ba itong anak namin mag-aral? Eh, mukhang takot na kami dahil sa nangyayari ngayon na maraming nau nakikidnap. So, para ma mawala itong kailang pangamba, ilahad natin yung lahat ang uh, totoong estado ng uh, kapayapaan ng ating bansa. Kaya andito tayo ngayon. So, uh, but before I, I uh, continue on, I would like to to congratulate the Philippine National Police for your very big accomplishment yesterday in uh, Pampanga, wherein uh, marami kayong na-rescue na mga uh, traffic persons, mga foreigners, at meron din kayong na-aristo, di ba? Marami rin. And uh, just, just this morning, uh, I talked to the provincial director of Cavite, and he told me about their accomplishment na yung uh, within 36 hours yung uh, nakidnap at nirape at pinatay na 16 years old doon sa Cavite ay nahuli na lang suspect somewhere in uh, Bulacan. And uh, thank you for uh, yung pagsusumikap ninyo. Again, uh, yung PNP kayo palagi ang Whipping boy. Uh, sabi ko nga, sometimes I praise you, sometimes I castigate you. Uh, they, may, they may come in uh, different forms, but iisa lang ang ibig sabihin noon. Na kami, yung pub publiko, ay umaasa sa inyo na sana ay kayo magtagumpay sa inyong mandato na mamintain ang peace and order na ating bansa. Dahil wala man kami ibang mapupuntahan kundi ang Philippine National Police. Because according to the Constitution, there is only one police force, national in scope, civilian in character, and that is the Philippine National Police. Kapag nagkalitsi-litsi yung sitwasyon natin, yung ating peace and order, hindi naman sinisisi ng taong bayan yung NBI, hindi sinisisi ang, ang uh, immigration, hindi sinisisi yung mga mayor, hindi sinisisi yung mga gobernur, hindi sinisisi yung uh, uh, pagkor. Hindi, kundi ang Philippine National Police. Ang sabi na palagi, polis natin kasi patulog-tulog, polis natin kasi walang ginagawa. Kaya we are here today. Para malamin natin, na malaman natin yung totoong uh, pangyayari. Minsan nga, uh, uh, nakakastigate ko kayo, but please take it as a challenge. Do not take it as an offense. Because alam niyo man ninyo kung gaano ko kayo kamahal, uh, without the Philippine National Police, there is no Senator Bato de la Rosa. Yan ang aking utang na loob sa ating organization. Kaya, sana, uh, gampanan niyo ng gusto ang inyong uh, papel. You, you take all my comments as a challenge para gampanan talaga ninyo. And uh, I'm sure you are, uh, you are reacting uh, properly. Kaya uh, before matapos itong uh, hearing na ito, this community hopes na masagot natin yung mga naging questions na kuwapalibot sa ating kapiligiran. Number one, about kidnapping, itong mga kidnapping involving uh, foreign nationals, be it Chinese, Cambodian, Singaporean, uh, Vietnamese, uh, as uh, 
victims or as a uh, suspects dahil sila sila nga sabi lang nagkikidnapan so titingnan natin ngayon kung ito ba ay mga pogo related ito ba ay casino related or ito ba ay yung traditional na kidnapping for ransom victimizing uh, itong ating mga mostly Filipino Chinese uh, uh, citizens ng ating bansa at uh, kung ito ay pogo related Laruin natin kung sino mga pogo involved dito para naman yan dito yung uh, tagapagkor. Kapag uh, involved sila sa mga kidnapping or trafficking or sa uh, slavery na nakikita natin ngayon, then will as five court right now ito cancel their permit and uh, we have immigration here to deport them uh, sa Marili right away for being uh, Uh, undesirable, undesirable aliens. Uh, madali lang yung palayasin ka ganun natin ikaw. You are making uh, uh, crimes here. You are com committing crimes here. You go away. We don't need you here. Di ba? So, andito tayo ngayon. Malaman yan. At uh, yung atin namang uh, mga kidnappings na nagresulta sa sometimes rape, sometimes death. Marami, maraming uh, May mga records tayo dito, mga babae na nawawala. Ito yung laman ng, uh, uh, laman ng uh, resolusyon ni Senator Aime. Yung mga babae na mga nawawala, uh, hindi ko na isa-isahin. Alam nyo yun. Uh, you, you should uh, show us what are the updates as far as these cases are concerned. So, yun lang naman siguro. Yung mga video na nag-circulate si Senator JB. I would like to... Acknowledge the presence of Senator uh, J.B. Ejercito. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Pa. And uh, may ipapakita si Senator J.B. mamaya ng mga video. And uh, please give us updates. Nandun yung mga video na merong tinanggalan ng tenga. Merong video na hinahampas ng uh, maso. Uh, very cruel na mga tao ito. Merong video na nagbinaril. At sinasaksak pa parang nagsasaksak ng baboy. Tsak, 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 ganun. So you can just imagine kung ma ma-inquintro mo itong mga tao dyan sa mga hotel dyan. Lasing, matripan ka, gaganunin ka, tsak, 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 tsak. Paano? Mayroong video doon na tinapon na Chinese uh, national doon sa Kawit, Kabite. I don't know kung yung kasama doon ng mga binalot-balot doon, eh ikaw ba yun? Yung mga tinagtad ba yun or... Uh, Sabi ng PD kanina, hindi daw. Isang tao lang daw yung namatay doon. And they have uh, progress on their uh, investigation. At meron din tayong video na yung uh, parang abduction or robbery along the skyway. Skyway. Pwede pala lang gawin yan in broad daylight. So ito yung magbibigay ng takot sa mga tao. So klaruhin natin ito. Kung ito ba talaga yung nangyayari sa ating bansa at kung ito yung nangyayari, Ano nang ginagawa ninyo? At kung ito hindi sa ating bansa, klaro yun natin na hindi yan nangyari sa amin. Because this uh, gives, this gives anjo, uh, anjo, anjo fear from our uh, presidents. So, from here, uh, I would like to yield the floor to Senator Ivy Marcos for his opening statement. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wala naman akong opening statement, Mr. Chairman. Um, sasang-ayon lang ako sa lahat ng sinabi ni Senator Bato. Uh, may problema tayo sa technicals na naman. Please uh, bear with us. Uh, this hearing is uh, suspended. One minute. Suspension. Technicals, what happened? Gagnon na lang tayo, Briere. Nakakahiya naman sa mga bisita natin dito. Saan yung video daw?
clearing resumes. Uh, before I yield the floor back to Senator Ayu Marcos, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, another uh, author of this uh, of one of the resolutions that triggered this investigation, uh, Senator Ramon uh, Bong Rebilla Jr. Uh, unahin mo natin si Senator Aimee uh, Sinbong okay, right. sa opening right, right. statement. Okay, 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 pare. Okay, thank you, thank you, Senator Rebilla. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Senator Bong and uh, Chairman Bato. Ang um, akin naman ay eh, hindi opening statement, kundi uh, sang-ayon lang po ako sa aking chairman na talagang nalilito po kami. Um, I wrote uh, a resolution very early on and spoke about it in August. Um, given the number of... Uh, uh, crimes against women as early as August 31, the PNP already recorded a total of 149 crimes against female students and uh, acts of lasciviousness and other minor offenses were not even listed in that long list. Uh, on the con in the contrary, the uh, overall um, reports of the PNP indicate that both index and non-index crimes have gone down. Alin nga ba ang totoo? At the same time, we hear sensational reports from some of our Chinoy brothers that 56 kidnappings have occurred. We have, of course, confirmed that of uh, Tolosa, of Iraset Pharma, and a handful of others. Alin ang totoo dito? Ganun din sa CDO, sa Cagayan de Oro, ang balita, ang Xavier University sa Nervios ay nag-full online na ulit pagkat uh, maraming balita na kinikidnap at sinasaktan ang kabataan. At laganap din ang mga videos, fake, hindi fake, sa China o sa ibang lugar, sa Pilipinas ba o hindi, at yung mahiwagang uh, kidnapping sa Skyway. Yun ang nais namin malaman sa umagang ito kung alin dito ang totoo at bakit rin report na pabagsak ang krimen samantalang sa kabila nito, takot na takot ang ating mamayan. Thank you, uh, Senator Aimee. Uh, uh, from here, I will uh, give the floor to Senator J.B. Hercito for his opening uh, statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning, everybody. Anyway, uh, as what uh, Senator Aimee has said, no, um, the, this hearing aims to find out the, the truth because it's ca ca causing panic. No? Big, um, and the President's um, instruction for us is on, on how to rebuild the economy and definitely the peace and order situation is the big the biggest probably i would say the biggest factor so in having a climate conducive for business to grow for us to be able to rebuild the economy after the pandemic kailangan po maganda ang peace and order situation now that i'm the chairman ngayon pa lang tayo nakakabuelo after the two year lockdown and pandemic Medyo ako galing po ako sa car, uh, automotive manufacturers uh, first international, uh, international show. So medyo nabubuhay na. Ngayon lamang po, no, kagagaling ko, now that the economy is uh, starting to show signs of recovery, sana naman, that's why this early, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Chairman uh, Senator Batola Rosa for uh, calling this uh, hearing on uh, the alleged activities, uh, itong mga kidnapping and other uh, activities so that we can uh, find remedies as soon as possible. No? Kinakailangan ang instruction ng Presidente how to rebuild the economy and again, I would like to reiterate that public uh, safety, the peace and order situation is very essential in, have, in having a conducive climate for economic development and our recovery. Medyo nakakabahala kasi Mr. Chair, uh, unang-unang nag-file si Senator Aimee about the abductions of women. Tapos sumunod, tumuloy-tuloy na ang nakakabahala Mr. Chair yung mga videos na kumalat lately uh, showing uh, Chinese nationals, no? kasi mukhang singkit na singkit sila. Alam naman natin itsura ng Chinoy, alam natin itsura ng mainland Chinese. You can really distinguish. Eh, no? So yun ko, naikwento na ni Mr. Chairman kanina yung... Uh, um, yung mga gruesome no activities no pinapalo sa uh, ng ng maso tinatalhukan sinasaksak uh, and the latest was the skyway abduction or uh, sabi ng PNP ito sa uh, robbery but it happened in broad daylight no so of course it's causing panic although ako naman uh, personally 
um, Sir Chairman, hindi pa naman ako nabahala. I even bike to work alone, wala akong security. No? Kasi I, we do not want to cause panic because we want to have, uh, we want to be on our way to recovery. That's why kung meron mang mga problema, uh, allegedly, probably some uh, international syndicates are using the Pogo Avenue. Kasi po, alam naman natin, ang Pogo marami rito doing business. Uh, also contributing to our economy, probably they are using that avenue to come here and uh, do their, uh, their uh, criminal activities. I was, Secretary Boy Ribulla said no, uh, that uh, NBI was already looking at the possibility that uh, there are Chinese Cambodians no, that are already here operating and doing some uh, of their modus operandi. So, yan po yung mga dapat natin tingnan. As what uh, Chairman Senator Del Bato de Losa said, we really have to wait. Kung talagang yung social cost will be too much to bear, probably we can already, ano, yan ang pag-uusapan natin. But uh, anyway, this hearing, I, we would like to hear from our um, law enforcement agencies. I'm sure that they will be top of the, top of the, uh, top of the situation. Uh, NBI, um, uh, PNP, and uh, the others. So, siguro, Chairman, probably, Mr. Chairman, probably can show the video. Uh, probably the authorities can confirm whether these videos are authentic. Sabi kasi baka hoax, no? Pero uh, we have to make sure that, that uh, these videos are, we have to verify the authenticity of this video so that, you know, we can already, we can, uh, we can attack the problems already head on and not cause panic anymore in the business sector especially. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator JB. Uh, Senator Mung Rebilla, you have the floor. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Colleagues, uh, resource persons uh, present here today. First of all, I'd like to thank the chairperson, Senator De La Rosa, for hearing this matter urgently. Uh, saludo kami sa yung mabilisang pag dito. Malaki ang tiwala namin sa iyo at siguradong hihinto itong problema ng ito. No? Um, to set it straight, no one is above the law. Baka kasi nalilimutan ito ng mga masasamang loob na walang takot tumubag sa ating mga batas. In as such much as uh, our government will always endeavor and uh, strive to protect and uphold the rights and welfare of, of uh, everyone, citizens and uh, aliens alike who are within our territorial jurisdiction, our government will never turn a blind eye whenever our, our laws are violated. Walang sinasanto ang ngipin ng ating batas. Hindi tayo papayag na patuloy na dungisan ng sino man ang ating bayan sa kanilang uh, paghahasik ng gulo at takot sa ating mga kababayan. Hindi natin bibigyan ng puwang ang ating bayan ang mga taong tila ba mga walang uh, konsensya at halang ang mga kaluluwa. At mamaya ay papakita yung video na yan. Kung gano'ng kat rumal-dumal, gano'ng katapang o gano'ng kasiga mga taong yan. At kung merong mang nakakalimot sa ilan sa ating mga tagapagpatupad ng batas, isang paalala, you are either with us or against us. Kung pipiliin nyo na sumama sa mga nagasik ng kaguluhan, pati kayo ay, ay uh, hahagarin at isasama sa mga kriminal na walang puwang sa ating lipunan. Uh, let this message be clear. We have never and we will never tolerate criminality. We cannot deny that uh, the Philippine offshore gaming operators, also known as the Pogo industry, has helped local businesses and boosted our tourism industry. We are not condemning the industry. What we are condemning is the seeming uh, lawlessness that pervades the industry. Kailangan nating imbestigahan ito upang hindi madamay ang mga wala namang ginagawang masama at naghahanap buhay lamang ng patas at marangal. May kasabihan po tayo na sa bawat gubat ay may ahas. At ang punto ng pagdinig na ito ay habulin natin ang mga ahas na ito at panagutin sa batas. We are uh, conducting this hearing today to weed out those who commit these crimes with brazen impunity. 
galit tayo sa mga nagahari-harian mga kriminal sa ating bansa lalo na sa mga uh, nagsisigisgaang uh, dayuhang kriminal uh, silang mga walang uh, pakundangan sa paglapastangan sa kaayusan at kaligtasan sa ating bansa Huwag nating hayaan na ito'y ilang mga bugok na ito na magdikta sa nakakarami. Dahil sa kanila, nadadamay itong mga matitino. Sa pamamagitan ng komite na ito, pagtulong-tulungan po natin na matiyak, na alisin ang mga bulok na yan. Uh, panahon na para singilin ang mga yan, mga kriminal na taas noo pa nilang ginagawa. No? Uh, hindi natin ito palalagpasin upang huwag na silang uh, makapinsala pa sa iba. Sama-sama nating supilin ang mga masasamang loob bago pa mas maraming madamay. Nang sa gayon ay uh, masiguro din natin ang ating mga kababayan, ang kanilang kaligtasan, no? bawat kaligtasan ng mga Pilipino. The Philippines is known for its uh, warm hospitality. But uh, make no mistake, our country cannot be a haven of haven for criminals. No? Enough is enough. Puputulin na natin ang sungay na mga nag-aakalang mas mataas pa sila sa batas. Pilipino man o dayuhan. To end, Mr. Chair, I challenge the police, the NBI, and all our law enforcers. Ipakita niyo karapat-dapat kayo sa inyong mga nuporme. Ipakita niyo karapat-dapat kayo sa tiwala ng taong bayan. Live up to your mandate. We expect no less. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator uh, Bugribilla. Uh, I cannot uh, describe your uh, anger. Alam kong galit na ang panday. Uh, kaya mag-react na tayo nito ngayon. At uh, kahapon, uh, with the permission of Senator Bugribilla, uh, alam mo, General Malayo, Nag-shopping na kami kahapon ni Senator Bugribilla na ano magandang handgun bibilihin namin para i-carry namin. Baka si baka mamaya masalubong namin yung, yung uh, mananaksak na yun. Puta na pag nasalubong namin yun tapos wala kaming dala. Baka uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that uh, wala kaming tiwala sa inyo. You've been doing your job. Para hindi mo mawala sa aming mga civilian. Naghanap rin kami ng safety namin. Kaya nag-shopping kami kahapon ng anong magandang baril ba bilhin namin. Twinning kami, twinning. Kung ano yung baril bilhin niya, yun rin bilhin ko para siguruhin natin. O pati si Senator JB. But uh, anyway, hindi nakahantong yan sa bilhin pa ng baril. Pag uh, alam ko, you're doing your job. And uh, mawawala ito. Uh, pag uh, yung NCRPO director na ang uh, nata-challenge, I know, his capability. General Istomo is very good in this uh, kind of job. So alam kong kayang-kaya mong secure ang buong uh, metropolis ng Metro Manila. Is that uh, true, uh, General Isomo? Am I correct in my assumption? Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Uh, meron pa ba tayong uh, kasamahang senador na gustong magbigay ng... So kung wala na, uh, ito lang, pabilisan lang. Senator JB is preparing a video para... Right here, right now, you can give your comment dahil marami tayong kababayan ngayon ang ah, nanonood dito sa hearing na ito para mabigyan ninyo kaagad ng respond officially, directly, direct from the horse's mouth from General Mar Malayo kung ano pa talaga ito mga video na ito. Uh, please, uh, Senator JB, uh, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I mentioned earlier, uh, these videos that have circulated have caused panic. No? Kahit papano yung mga... I talked to some of the car manufacturers heads, yung mga nasa chamber. Um, of course, it's really disturbing. Actually, nung pinanood natin, we shared it among ourselves, among the senators. Medyo cost panic. So I'm hoping we're showing this so that the authorities can verify and uh, can say if it's authentic or not. Para nga po, and what actions, Mr. Chairman, they have already done uh, regarding this. So probably technical, please uh, play the videos already. Parental guidance, ha? Ito ay karumal-dumal na video, kaya dapat may parental guidance tayo.
Mr. Chairman, yung sa Skyway, no? yung abduction or uh, robbery. Uh, na... Okay, post muna natin. Can you react, uh, General Malayo? Anong comment mo dito? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. I'll give it directly to our regional director of NCRPO who has the details as well as the progress of the case, sir. Okay, uh, you have the floor, General Istomo. Uh, good morning, sir. Sa totoo lang, sir, yung, uh, uh, yung sa Skyway po na yan, hindi po yan kidnapping. Uh, robbery hold up po yan, sir, na kung saan, isang Malaysian national po, sir, yung biktima po dyan, sir. As of today, although wala pa akong official report about this, sir, considered so na po yan, sir, na pinpoint na ng biktima yung isa sa mga na hold up sa kanya, sir. So, I will give report to you personally, sir, pag, ma, pag meron na po ngayon, sir. Actually, sir, ngayon ko lang umaga, sir, na pinpoint na ng, ano, sir, ng uh, kaya lang meron pang dalawang tinutukoy po, sir. Tatlo po yan, sir. Ano ito? Uh, Chinese nationals? Filipino? Malaysian po, sir, ang victim, sir. Yung... Uh, Involved, sir, yung Pilipino na yung tinatawag namin protective security cell. Yan, kasi merong mga Pilipino, sir, na nag-a-apply sa PNP, individual, sir, kung gusto nila magtrabaho as protective uh, security cell. Then mag-a-apply sila sa mga foreign national, sir. Pag tinanggap sila, sir, i-upload ng PNP, sir, through SOSIA. Okay, you can just imagine itong video na ito. Kami ni Senator Bong Rebilla, dumadaan kami doon sa Skyway every day. Every day, papunta, pabalik. You can just imagine kung mangyari yan sa harapan namin, kahit na hindi kami ang, kahit hindi kami ang target, ha? mangyari yan sa harapan namin, kung wala kami dalang baril, anong gawin namin? Sisigaw na kami, dar na! Lipad na lang kami dyan sa Skyway. Kaya, please, ah, uh, Tingnan nyo ito mabuti at uh, dapat wala na mangyaring ganito. Uh, nakakatakot ito, maharang ka lang sa gitna ng, ng skyway. Wala kang, wala kang matakbuhan eh. Malalim yung one. Hindi ka makatalon dyan sa gilid. So, for the record of this committee, that case is considered solved as far as NCRPO is concerned. Okay? Yes, sir. Sige uh, magdagdag, sir. Dagdagan mo. Huwag ko mag-alala, sir, uh, nung ako yung nagpa-person post tungkol sa mga viral na yun, sir, yung mga video na yan. Parang meron na isa dyan na video, nangyari July pa, sir. July 21. Siyempre nangyari, parang si, sila ba yung sabay nila? Kaya nasabi ko sa mga media, eto, hindi ako, hindi ko isa uh, parang isa challenge to my leadership as the regional director of NCRPO. Siguro, yung mga yan, wala silang time para puntahan ako personally. Bible na lang na ganyan, para sabihin na may nangyari ganito. Parang ganyan, sir. So, sa akin, sir, I accept uh, responsibility, sir, sa mga pangyari ito, sir. Eh, pero, sir, okay, mag-alala. Dahil sa ginawa po ang uh, mga responsibility ngayon, sir, so, palagi po mababawasan po itong mga kidnapping at abduction sa, ano, sir, sa Metro Manila. Okay, magalala, sir. Salud ko rato, sir. Thank you. Well, yan ang commander. Yan ang commander. Tanggapin mo lahat ng success or uh, uh, failure ng unit mo. And I appreciate you for that. Uh, may I recognize, yes. Senator Aimee, ma'am? Yes, please. clarification lang po, General Estomo. Uh, you said that uh, there are suspects that have been arrested. At uh, may isang Pilipino. Uh, ma'am, sorry po. Uh, hindi po siya arrested. Pinpointed pa lang po ng uh, victim. Yes, ma'am. Pero may nabanggit kayo na may mga Pilipino na mahilig mag-apply bilang protective security. Ma'am, ma ma excuse me. Ma uh, hindi pa pala nakasure in ito. Pasensya na kayo, ma'am. Uh, please, uh, uh, Secretary, uh, please swear them. Lahat ng ating kwan, i-request natin. Uh, I swear May we request all our guests who are here in the gallery to please stand up, including the police officers there at the center box and the right side, right box. Could you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to Come tell the truth? Excuse me. Sir. Please enjoy, uh, 
lahat sir kasama na po all research person all guest po all guest sorry please raise your right hand do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth in this hearing and investigation thank you sir please take your seats Yes, thank you, Senator Amy. Please uh, go ahead with your questions. Yes, thank you very much. Just very quickly, General Estomo, please. Ang sabi ninyo, may tatlong suspects na na na-pinpointed pero hindi pa arestado. Nabanggit ninyo na may mga Pilipino at isa sa mga na-pinpoint ninyo ay eh, isang Pilipino na nag-apply bilang protective security ng mga foreigners na ina-approve ng PNP. Tama po ba ang pagkaintindi ko? Uh, tama po ma'am, pero nan nandito po yung aming director ng para sagutin po kayo ma'am, si ating sosya sir, pwede sir. Ang sinasabi ninyo yung isang pinagsususpechahan ninyo, inapprove ng PNP bilang protective security. Pa Paano ba yung proseso para maging protective security? I will request our director of uh, sosya ma'am or General uh, Dobria to answer the specifics. Pero may listahan naman tayo nitong mga nagsesecure ng mga foreigners. Palibasa dumadaan nga sa PNP. Tama po ba? Kasi hinahanap natin yung listahan ng mga foreigners. Hindi natin mabuo-buo. Baka isang susi itong mga protective security na nakalista sa PNP. Tama kaya yan, ma'am. Uh, please, uh, sit, uh, General Dubria, dito ka rin, dito. Umupo ka dito. Ish, ikaw bang sosya? Ah, sinong sosya? The sosya, chief sosya, sir, is not invited for today's hearing, sir. Oh, pwede mo, patakbuhin ka agad dito. Yes, sir. Tawagan mo. Kasi ayun, oh, masagot mo yung tanong ni Senator Raymond. I, I can give a general overview of the requirement. Mas maganda yung sosya. Yes, ang uh, sumagot. Tawagin mo. Asap, ha? Yes, sir. Sige. Yes, sir. Thank sige. you, sir. Thank you. Uh, antayin na lang po natin pagkat uh, baka isang um, isang uh, uh, pamamaraan na makakuha tayo ng katibayan eh dito sa mga Pilipino na protective security. Total, ang listahan nasa PNP pala eh. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, okay tayo dyan. Consider job na yan. Oh, si Victor Bong, hindi natin matakot si Skyway, ha? Okay na, sabi ni si General Istomo. Hindi tayo matatakot sa kanila. Di, bahala sila, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> si Victor GB, please uh, go ahead with your presentation. Mr. Chairman, after this uh, video, meron pa tayo, no? Yung mga ibang kumalat, siguro maganda na rin. Please play na rin po uh, sa technical. Pakiplay na po yung mga next video. Ayaw mo na, ayaw mo na. Post mo muna. Back, back mo na yung tinanggalan ng tenga. Yan. Tenga, oh. Ayaw, eh, very karumal-dumal. Tinanggalan ng tenga. PNP, uh, can you confirm or deny if that uh, video transpired within our territory of the Republic of the Philippines? Nangyari ba yan dito o hindi? Uh, sir, we have our director of ACG who denied that this uh, video is taken inside the Philippine territory. Taken outside of our inside, territory? Yeah. This is not taken in our territory as confirmed by our director of the ACG. So, what do you think is the motive behind bakit ito pinakalat dito sa Pilipinas na hindi pala ito nangyayari sa ating bansa? We are in the same plane also, sir. If uh, this person who posted this kind of video should have given it to the PNP because we will be investigating. The mere fact that it is in the social media, we are in quandary also of who are these persons. So, mga kababayan na nagmumonitor ngayon dyan, natakot dito sa video na ito, according to the PNP, itong video na ito ay hindi nangyayari sa ating bansa, kaya huwag kayo dapat matakot dito. Clear, PNP? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, before you continue, Senator JB, I would like to recognize the presence of Mr. Uh, Amis Rosalinda Pineda, Division Chief ng DOLE. 
Ma'am, are you around? And uh, also Attorney Ulysses Aguila, State State uh, Council, DOJ. Thank you, sir, for coming. And also Brigadier General, Police Brigadier General, Mario Reyes, in charge of fake news. Ah, meron na palang ganyan? Huh? You're in charge of fake news? Huh? Ah, community relations. Akala ko, fake news division ng PNP. <laughs> community relations. Thank you. Uh, and also, Mr. Ko Bong Ko Bingson, Ko Bingson, Executive Director PCCI. Sir, thank you, sir, for coming over. Uh, I know, you, mga businessman kayo, your time is very important. Uh, hindi namin sayangin yung time nyo. Uh, unahin namin kayo mamaya after the presentation of Senator uh, J.B. Ayers ito. Please uh, continue, Senator J.B. Next uh, video, please. Tulong mo niyo pa ang si Chairman. Oh, um. ah. Okay pa, oh, tama na, tama na, ayaw ko na. Nasasaktan ako. Pakipost na lang, pakipost. Yung kita niyo, maso yan ha? Maso na bakal yung uh, dulo niyan. You can just imagine how cruel these people are. Saan ba kayo? Andi, pag nandito sana kayo, ako, ako mamaso sa ulo niyo. Mga, na, sarap masuhin itong mga tao na ito. But anyway, please, PNP, react to this. Again, Nangyari sir, ba ito? Again, sir, our Pilipinas? director HCG denies that this is happening in our area and these people are Chinese-speaking individual and hindi cannot ascertain this, uh, their nationality also. So, for the benefit of our uh, audience, ating mga kababayan na nagmumonitor sa hearing na ito, uh, denied ng PNP na nangyayari ito sa ating bansa. So please, huwag kayo matakot. Huwag kayo matakot. Hindi ito. Yung, huwag na ninyong ipakalat yung video na yan kasi hindi pala nangyayari sa ating bansa yan. Nagdadagdag lang kayo ng uh, unnecessary fear and anxiety sa ating mga kababayan. Please stop it. Huwag na ninyong ikalat yan. Kami, I hope this is the last time that we will see that kind of video. Huwag na nyo yung ikalat yan. Wala yan sa ating bansa. So thank you, PNP, for denying that such incident happened within our territory. Thank you, sir. Please, uh, Sen. Yes, Jeff. Yes, Meron pa tayo. Sige, please pray again. Yung susunod. Ito, dito talaga to kasi may PNP uh, police vehicle na para sinalbay sa Chinese National, Mr. Chairman. Mga ilang ano ito, Mr. Chair? Ilang, ilang ano to Around Sina six videos, uh, Your Honor, uh, Senator Bong. Uh, six videos ang uh, pinaprepare ni Senator JB. Ito si Nalbage, uh, ilan to Ayan, ah, uh, Please post, i-post nyo, post, post mo na. Yung nakikita daw, nakausap ko yung provincial director nyo doon sa Cavite, yung nakikita na mga putol ay yung mga nakasupot, sabi nung nag-video na ito mga chinapsap na, parang chinapsap na mga katawan ng tao na tinapo na mabaho na daw. Actually, hindi pala yan tao, kundi mga basura yan. Uh, basura. Doon. Oh, so confirmed ng, by the provincial director of uh, Cavite, na isa lang ang victim dyan. Yung ipa playback mo nga yung video, yung tao, isang tao lang. Yan. Isa lang yan ang victim dyan. Hindi yung support, hindi yung chap-chap bodies na tinapon. Basura lang daw yun. And uh, ito, meron na silang uh, uh, apinbe. You, you, you comment on this. Yes sir, we confirmed that this incident occurred in our territory specifically in Kawit, Cavite. And this is being investigated now. Uh, we have the RD4A to give additional details, sir. Where's the RD4A? Oh, po, dito. Upo ka dito. Lagyan ninyo ng kwan. Kasi kung hindi in CR4A ang uh, uh, teritoryo, ang jurisdiction nito, mga krimen nito. RD4A, please uh, take your seat here.
Naswerin ka na ba, General Artadis? Yes, sir. Okay. Please, comment on that. Uh, with the uh, video that have shown to us and uh, in this uh, session hall, yeah, I confirm that the uh, dead body, only one uh, male uh, cadaver, was found in... Uh, uh, your Honor, sir. How about update? Um, uh, the uh, description, physical descri description of the uh, male uh, cadaver is a Chinese-looking, but Chinese-looking uh, person. But with finality, we cannot uh, ascertain because uh, wala pong identity. And right now, we've been coordinating with the different, uh, like the BID and, uh, of course, the Chinese community, uh, hindi pa namin ma-ascertain. Um, uh, what we're doing is uh, we're gathering uh, um, fingerprints and comparison in comparison with the uh, uh, victim or the uh, cadaver that had found. We have also uh, secured some uh, passports of uh, alleged and or missing um, uh, foreign nationals, Korean or uh, Parang ganun, sir, uh, Chinese, um, uh, pero hindi pa natin na-identify with finality, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, alam mo, you have mentioned again about fingerprints. May nakuha na kayo mga Latin prints sa katawan itong biktima. Ang problema ngayon, kung saan, kanino nyo i-match yan, kanino nyo ibabangga, you, have, you don't have the, the database na babanggaan itong uh, Latin prince na nakukuha ninyo sa katawan ng biktima. Now, I would like to ask in this connection, uh, Bureau of Immigration, yung pagpasok ba nito mga foreign nationals na ito, automatic ba? Meron silang uh, uh, biometrics na kinukuha? Um, uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, a few years ago, nag-start po yung aming... Uh, anyway, uh, sandali ah. Na, meron naman tayong harang dito at uh, negative ka naman, alam ko. Please, uh, tanggalin mo para marinig natin yung mabuti. Uh, a, few, a few years ago, Mr. Chairman, nag-start po yung ating uh, um, yung collecting of the biometrics, uh, the fingerprints and uh, eye scan. Pero after the pandemic po, sinuspend po natin yung uh, pagkuha ng... Uh, biometrics para lang ma, ma proteksyonan yung pagpasok po ng ano ng uh, in, uh, infection ng COVID-19. Uh, but right now it's a uh, ano po nag-initiate uh, ulit. So malaking problema pala ito. Wala tayong biometrics ng mga terorista na yan pumasok dito. Hindi natin sila ma matutumbok dahil wala tayong biometrics. Uh, so, binabalik na niyo? Binabalik na niyo ngayon? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. May biometrics po ngayon. Sinuspin niyo because of pandemic? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Oh, bakit? Lalapit ba siya doon, di ba? Ganun mo lang? Ganun lang yun doon? Takot uh, kayo. Ma Alam ko maraming taga mga immigration officer na nagpositive sa COVID dahil dyan. But anyway, uh, how about yung before pandemic, ginagawa niyo yan? Yes, Mr. Chairman. How about yung mga, mga beneficiaries, ng, uh, beneficiaries ng pastillas scheme? Di ba yung mayroong uh, passport, ay mayroong tayong visa uh, issuance upon arrival? Tapos yung iba na binigyan ng VIP treatment through the pastillas scheme, sigurado ko, hindi rin yun na ganun, ano? Hindi rin na kunan ng biometrics. Uh, Mr. Chairman, lahat po ng uh, dumadaan and admitted for entries, dumadaan po sa uh, biometrics and derogatory checks po. Kahit na yung mga pinadaan through pastillas, meron pa rin yun? Nakunan na biometrics yun? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, lahat po 100% lang uh, dumadating at nagdi-disembark sa aeroplano. Uh, locals and foreigners dumadaan po sa biometrics. Yung nga, yung biometrics na sasabi mo, baka ang biometrics mo, yung mata lang, yung eye scan, 
hindi yung uh, kasi ito ang importante yung biometrics na mga fingerprints para yung latin prints na makukuha doon sa biktima ay ma mabangga natin ma-match wala yes uh, mr chair uh, dumadaan po sila sa fingerprint uh, okay uh, and mr chair nung uh, way back 2020 po uh, early first quarter na na suspend na po yung ano uh, visa pan arrival Wala nang visa pa na rival. Wala na po. Sinuspend na Chinese na po worker sa wala ha? Sinuspend po ng Bureau of Immigration na I think January of 2020. 2020? 20. 20. Yes. So, yung 19 meron pa? Uh, yes po, Mr. Chairman. Oh, so, pwede pa rin. Di ba natin sigurado kung 19 o 20 ito pumasok? So, but anyway, ganito lang uh, uh, immigration. May problema ang PNP nga wala silang database. Kayo ang may database ito mga foreigners entering into our country. Pwede ba nyo i-share yung, yung database with the PNP? Alam ko, very capable ang PNP. Meron silang, uh, anong tawag nyo yung crime lab nyo dati? Ngayon, ang tawag nyo? Forensic group. Forensic group. Very highly trained ito. Na mga, kahit na DNA sabihin mo, very, uh, very high-tech yung kanilang DNA laboratory sa PNP. Kaya pwede niyo i-share sa kanila para tulungan niyo na masolve itong mga kaso na ito. Kaya? Uh, okay. Yes, Mr. Chair. And to add also inputs, um, yung Bureau of Immigration naman po, uh, Mr. Chair, um, closely coordinating, collaborating with uh, our counterparts. Pag may nakita po sila sa uh, kami, na sa social media, identified yung pangalan, we ensure na we... Uh, issue and send letter of coordination to the concerned uh, office or agency. In the same way din po na pagka ang counterparts is uh, nag, uh, nagbibigay ng mga uh, information, all we need lang po is an accurate and precise identity such as the full names and the date of birth. And then uh, while uh, ginagawa po yung criminal um, case against the, the foreign nationals, sa Bureau of Immigration naman po, Kinagkakondak na po kami kagad ng case build-up and magre-recommend po kami ng uh, either cancellation of the visa and eventual deportation po ng foreign nationals. Okay, thank you. Sana, ako again, ha, I would like to to encourage you na angasan, bigyan pa niyo ng angas yung iyong trabaho dyan sa immigration. Hindi tayo puro accommodating na lang, accommodating na to the extent na hindi niyo alam na yung pumapasok pala dito ay eh, kung hindi terorista, baka mga infiltrator na yan galing sa uh, Chinese Army or ano ba? Hindi natin alam. Sa so, Chairman, ah. PLA, People's Liberation Army, baka mamaya, because of our dispute, di malayo, Mr. Chairman, that they are using the Pogo Avenue para makapasok dito. Yan, mga pwede natin alamin mamaya. That's right. That's right, Senator JV. Alam ko yung concern mo. Uh, that's uh, okay lang ha. Ako ha, klaruhin ko sa inyo. If this is this problem is purely public order or pa purely public safety, alam ko kayang kaya ng PNP yan. They can catch up whatever challenges na nasa harap natin ngayon. Kayang kaya ng PNP yan. Pero pang ito ay dumating na sa national security, ibang usapan na yan. Ibang usapan na yan. Kaya immigration, please take note. Immigration. Your role is not only limited to public order, but up to national security. Kaya, bigyan nyo ng angas yung trabaho nyo dyan. Uh, alam nyo, eh, pwede naman, alam ko yung immigration, pwede naman kayong pagpasok. Duda ako, kung ito? Hitman ito ng uh, mga, ng mga sindikato na uh, galing sa ibang bansa. Hitman ito. Di ba, you can write away, di, pwede nyo i-deny entry yung mga tao na yan? Mere suspicion. Alam mo, bigyan kita ng example. I went to the United States. I trained with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I studied at the FBI Academy for uh, six months. After ako nag-aral doon, uwi ako na Pilipinas. Pag uwi ko na Pilipinas, pag exit ko doon sa Washington, Washington DC na airport, alam mo ginawa sa akin? I was treated like a terrorist. Pinatabi ako. Talagang sinik down ko lahat, pati bayag ko in inspection. Yung aking big, 
Nakabili ako ng laptop na maganda, yung Dell. Na latest na laptop. Kasi oh, gusto gusto ko yung Dell dito. Mahal dito sa Pilipinas. Hindi yan galing Pumili Dell. Ah. Hindi galing Dell. Pwede yung laptop niyo. Ah, hindi. hindi. Galing yun sa, sa Juan, Amerika. Halos. Halos i-dismantle yung aking laptop. Ganun sila ka stricto In fact, pa-exit ako ha. Sabi ko, ay, Mr. Officer, I just graduated from the FBI Academy. I am returning home. Why are you treating me like that? No, no. This is our job. Just uh, follow um, our orders. Ganun ka stricto ang immigration doon. Kaya kang mawalang hiyain anytime. E tayo dito, baka mawalang hiya lang tayo pag gusto natin sigurong Ay, ayaw ko na dahil baka masakta na naman kayo. Uh, baka magsigasigal na tayo para doon sa pastillas. Ayaw kong, uh, again, uh, nandyan naman yan, nangyari naman yung pastillas. But, again, I am, I, am, I am encouraging you to please do your job in the interest of public order and national security. Okay? Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, duly noted po and uh, rest assured na i-relay po namin yung, yung instruction sa aming management and sa men and women ng bureau. And actually, for the information of the committee, sir, yung matas po at uh, significant po ang number of exclusion cases or denial of uh, entries ng Bureau of Immigration. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. At meron pala kayong ganun na binagawa. Salamat, ha? Please, uh, Senator JP, continue po. Your presentation. Ah, um, Mr. Chairman, si Baka... Uh, Senator Bong Rebilla. Uh, Senator Bong Rebilla. Yeah, you want to say something? Please. Yeah, yeah. O, oh, uh, follow up lang to dun sa ano. Yung nasabi kanina yung kaso dun sa, sa Skyway ay uh, solved na daw. No? Uh, ang issue po nito, ang taong bayan na tinatanong nila, no? Kung meron na pa tayong napanagot dito, nakasuhan o na-deport, mga nagkasala. Uh, ano, ano na po ba? Meron, tal meron bang nakasuhan kung sinabi natin na uh, uh, solved na to? General Stomo. General Stomo. Sir, ganyan ang sabi ko, uh, may na pinpoint na yung victim, sir, na yung isa, sir. So, sa sasabihan namin na, na pinpoint pa lang, so hindi Wait, opo, pa siya. Sir. Yes, sir, opo. So, na hindi pa siya. Na pinpoint pa lang okay. po, sir. Okay, so kung na pinpoint na, hanapin na niya yan, no? At opo, opo, sir. Napusin niya na yan at uh, nang, hindi, na sila, hindi na sila makapag-ulit pa ng ganyang uh, krimen. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, Senator Bong. Uh, okay, Senator uh, General Stomo, pinpointed na, kilala na. So, palo up na lang. So, hindi tayo magbigay ng detalye dito. Baka tumakbo, lumayas na naman yan. Senator JB, please continue. Mr. Uh, Chama, I think this is the last video already. Pag-replay na lang. Please play the video. Ayan, sige. Yes, the last piece, Mr. Chairman, ito yung parang uh, pumasok ng mga yun natin kung in law enforcement or security agency. Tapos nagkapuntukan to. No? Uh, tapos ito parang tuloy-tuloy na ginugulpo pa yan kahit na may tama na. I think this is the last piece. Please, uh, thank you, Senator JB. Please post muna. I would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Grace Poe, the one of the authors of this, uh, the resolutions that we are now uh, uh, investigating. Na na-refer sa atin na resolution. Now, um, thank you. Magkaming di, lapit ka dito. Ah, si Amy. Baka hindi pa yung mabalik. <laughs> uh, alam mo, yung video na yun, sobrang karumal-dumal yun, parang nagsaksak ng baboy na 
ganun kung makasaksa ko parang ice pick ba na uh, binibiyak yung uh, ice uh, ang tawag yan? Ice uh, block. Ice block. Okay. Parang mm-hmm. saksaksak lang ice block. Ay nakakatakot rin yun talaga. So, anong update mo doon? General uh, Malayo. Sir, the PNP confirms that this incident occurred in our area and specifically in Paranaque. And our uh, police... Sandali, anong part ng Paranaque? Hotel, restaurant, condo? Yes, sir. The specific should be properly briefed by our uh, director of SPD, uh, General or Colonel... Where is it? Kraft, sir. Dito ka, General Kraft. Dito ka, umuko. So, confirm yon, Atin yon, Nangyari dito sa Paranaque. Yung patay, na-recover niyo. Uh, it will be briefed by uh, the SPD director, sir. Uh, you're the Southern Police District Director covering the area of uh, Paranaque. Paranaque, Makati. Muntin lupa. Na, na-swear ka na ba? Yes, sir. Okay, please go ahead. You have the floor. Sir, this incident uh, transpired last uh, July 22, 2022 at the 20th floor of Marina Seabio Residences, wherein uh, one of the so, uh, victims was identified as Xiang Xiaolong, 30 years old, born in uh, China, and a resident of Pagasa Extension, Santa Mesa, Manila. And uh, Mengshu of legal age with given address at Chroma Tower, Makati City. Sir, uh, as of today, sir, uh, we have identified uh, 12 uh, five protective agent Filipinos who were uh, caught on the CCTV camera, sir. And uh, also the other Chinese uh, suspects are still unidentified as of this date, sir. Kaya very crucial yun, makuha niyo yung Pilipino dahil sila mag sa, sa inyo para makuha yung mga Chinese na yan. Yes, diba? sir. O, oh, yung Pilipino na nagbumaril, di ba? Narinig mo, barilin ko na ito, barilin ko na ito, di ba? Binaril yung isang Chinese na nagbunot ng baril para isurrender yung baril niya, hindi naman act of shooting, binaril yung protective agent. Kaya very, very important ngayon na uh, General Malayo, yung ating susya, Nandito na sana. Parang siya managot dito. Del, these are protective agents under the regulation of SUSIA. At sila ngayon gumagawa ng krimen. Ah. Isipin mo para tayong kumukuha ng bato na pinupokpok sa ating ulo. Yung mga tao na ito, binigyan natin ng permit, binigyan natin ng license para maging protective agent in order to secure uh, BIPs. And now, they're being used as goons. Sila ngayon ginagamit ng goons nitong mga sindikatong uh, Chinese syndicates. Ginagawa sa bodyguard. Please, uh, check on this. Uh, pabilisan, tawag ka mo yung susya. Kung yes, pwede sa uh, pasakay nyo na helicopter, ihati dito. Yes, sir, Sana. our chief susya is already contacted and will be coming, sir. Dapat ma- mabigyan ang linaw ito. Kung ihinto ba natin itong programa na ito, din ihinto natin para kung na, ito'y naabuso. Uh, maganda ang purpose, mag-provide ng security. Yun pala, sila pala ang gagawa ng krimen. Continue. At General uh, Criminal uh, yeah. Pay also, sir. Uh, just quiet. to clarify that protective agents are not members of the PNP, but these are civilian trained to provide security. Just to give emphasis, sir. Yes, uh, that's uh, duly noted. Thank you for that. Uh, protective agents are not members of the Philippine National Police. They are issued license by the Philippine National Police para security ba? Security guard. Pero ang gamit niya is mag-escort as bodyguard. Mag-brigard ng mga VIP. Yan yung purpose niyan. To make it clear, ha? Baka sa may sabihin naman nilang police, police yung protective agents. Mr. Chair, before we continue, yeah. meron lang query. Kasi... Although hindi siya PSPG, hindi siya PNP, no? As, uh, si, uh, as the VNP said, na ito'y mga private security. Pero parang why are they um, using high, may mga high-powered weapons na mga dala? May mga nakita kung parang uh, high-powered assault rifle silang dala na may, na maliliit. 
Sir, that is under also our investigation because uh, they are not authorized for high-powered firearms. So part po yun, sir, sa pinapalo-up natin. Thank, Thank you. you. Kasi medyo doon ako na bahala. Kasi, you know, I, I know for a fact that uh, only the PNP or the armed forces are allowed to use to use those kinds of assault rifle, no? Na kahit na maano yan, 9mm lang. Pero those are uh, uh, high-powered rifles that ay, ay hindi pwede yan sa mga private security agency. Tama ho ba, uh, Gerald? That's right, sir. Ilang ha, please continue investigating kasi you know, nakakatakot Mr. Chair kasi alam niyo sa so, if you go around this area also ang daming Chinese nationals foreigners ang dami-dami nilang mga bodyguard na private you know, si Governor Susan Yap called me one time nasa one of the casino siya uh, Mr. Chair ang gulat siya kanina niya kung sino politiko nandoon ang daming security and daming bodyguard pero yun po Chinese national din uh, that has to be looked into Mr. Chair if I could comment before we proceed to the presentation, yes, uh, right. that issue of uh, protective security, as of this morning, sir, all detailed security on PNP, they are required to wear the uniform so as not to create confusion. And as far as the uh, protective agents, they are only allowed two bodyguards. Hindi po pwedeng sobra-sobra, sir. And our PNP and their general stomo will be checking these suspicious bodyguards. Thank you, po. Thank you. Alam ko, ginagawa nyo yan. Dahil every day ako dumadaan dyan sa Entertainment City. Pag pauwi ko sa bahay, nakikita ko ang dami ng police visibility nyo doon. Baka sobra-sobra na. Pero kailangan talaga natin yan. Huwag yung uh, ningas kugon ha. Uh, tuloy nyo yan. Palagi. Alam nyo, kami ni Senator Bung Revilla, meron rin kami na-obserba. Siya naka-obserba siya sa firing range. Ako rin naka-obserba rin ako. Nagsusyote ako sa firing range. Merong Chinese doon. Mga talagang mainland Chinese. Kung makabanat ng automatic rifle doon sa periphery, brrr, non-stop ang bala. Uh, Anli ang bala. Tapos, kasi alam ko, malaki yung magbayad doon sa mga mga taga pairing range. Sinita ko yung may-ari ng periphery. Sabi ko, alam mo, kung isang bala dyan sa automatic na pinaputok niyan ay lumipad labas ng uh, range tumama doon sa bahay o may tinamaan na tao, mananagot tayo dito, itong firing range mo, kaya dapat huwag nyo yung uh, pa-automatic yan, mga baril na yan. At saka nagtataka ko, bakit gusto-gusto lang uh, gumastos ng baril dito sa firing range, ha? Uh, nakikita natin yan. Senator Bong, di ba? Meron ka rin nakikita sa firing range, napuputok na grabe yung mga Chinese sa Pamilang, China. Kaya nakikita ng mga tao ko doon sa Cavite. Kaya doon Talagang naka, medyo nakakabahala talaga. Kailangan talaga eh, matutukan nito at uh, matigil yung ganyan. Mahirap na makasagupa mo yung mga yan. Maka biglang malasing yan or diba? biglang kahit sino man hindi nila makilala o yung mga anak natin, may mga anak tayo, makasabay nila sa mga, sa mga bar or ano man, gimikan dyan. Eh, wawawa naman yung mga bata. Diba? So, yun, pangalagaan natin yung ating uh, mga kabataan, mga kababayan natin. Thank you, Senator Bong. Uh, PNP, sigurado ba tayo? Uh, yes, uh, Just Senator a pointer on that. Grace po. Alam nyo, napakahirap kumuha ng lisensya ng baril. Alam ko yan sapagkat yung tatay ko, ang daming baril nun eh. So, nung namaya pa siya, yung nanay ko ang nilagay sa pangalan niya. Lahat ng mga requirements kinukuha. Pilipino na tayo ha. So, ibig sabihin siguro, itong mga baril na ito, sa mga bodyguard nila galing na pinayagan din ng PNP. Siyempre, dahil meron silang authority. So, ang tanong ko siguro, Mr. Chair, ganito, pagka kunwari, ang lisensya na yan ay sa pangalan mo, pwede mo bang ipahawak yan sa iba? Hindi, di ba? No. So, siguro, pag foreigner ba, ano ang polisiya ninyo na makakuha sila ng permit ng barel? Uh, pwede bang matanong yon Pagkatapos po ng inyong uh, Ano? Yes, wala problema. Please uh, uh, respond uh, immediately, si uh, General Malayo. Ma'am, uh, foreigners are not authorized to possess firearms in the Philippines. Neither are authorized to be given the license. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Uh, be sure. Uh, walang naisyuhan yung IPO natin ng baril na mga foreigners na yan, ha? As far as our record is concerned, sir, we are following the policy, but we are open for investigation to make sure that there are no foreigners issued with firearms. So, uh, Mr. Chair, 
yung mga sinasabi ninyong nasa firing range, no? We're assuming they're not Filipino nationals. We're not sure. Um, are they allowed in a firing range to hold a gun if it's not licensed to their name? I suppose that's okay, right? In a firing range? Yeah, actually, yung mga firing, firing range yan, they're private. At um, may baril yung mga miyari ng firing range at nagririnta lang sila doon para makaputok sila. Because that is a firing range, mayroong baril doon, may house uh, gun ang miyari ng firing range at pinaparinta at uh, pinapaputok. So, so, ang sinasabi lang natin, pag wala sa firing range or sa isang pribadong lugar, eh talagang dapat uh, matuntun kung may mga lisensya ba sila dahil dapat wala, di ba? Yes, uh, that, that, that should be the case. Ang, ako nga, ang rekomendasyon ko nga sa inyo, uh, General Malayo, magmamakita ka dyan ng mga taga, alam mo na, yung mga mainland Chinese na parang ang daming bodyguard. Kapkapan niyo yung mga bodyguard at uh, ulihin niyo kung uh, illegal position of firearms, kung ganun. Ha? It started ano already, ito? it started already this morning, sir. Hintayin mo pong magbabarilan na yan sila dito sa labas. Eh, yung barilan nga, nasa loob ng mga building, mamaya lalabas dito na sa labas ay magkipagbarilan. Sakit ng ulo natin. So unahan na ninyo, shake down ninyo lahat. Lahat ng illegal bodyguards, illegal firearms. Do it. You have to do it. Mr. Chair, alam mo, yes. napansin ko, and, and I commend them for having this uh, um, re rescue of the ones that were illegally detained. But the timing is suspect. Di ba parang, Dahil nga nagkakahiling tayo, biglang nagkakaroon ng mga crackdown. Sana naman, eh syempre, di ba, sinasabi nila, ano ba kami, investigador ninyo? Hindi naman dapat ganon, di ba? Kaya alam mo, pag nakita namin merong kakulangan, syempre, responsibilidad din namin ipatawag kayo. Ang isa pang nakakabahala dito, imagine, malalaman ba namin ito kung hindi napasa sa amin yung mga video na yon? Bakit ba nagkakaroon ng news blackout? Yun yung tanong ko eh. Sapagkat sa mga presinto, merong mga nakatalaga dyan na media. So pag merong mga na nakikita ang merong uh, kailangan puntahan na lugar, investigahan, kasama usually ang mga media, bakit dito wala? Nalaman lang natin dahil may nag-video doon. Walang nag-report. Ano ba talaga? Um, um... Uh, that's why we're also requesting our community because if these videos has been submitted immediately to the police station, we could have our earlier actions. The fact that it is submitted to to somebody, not practically in the social media, but it accordingly it is a P2P or private to private, and it was submitted to anybody that it is uh, received to the stations or to the PNP only later in the month. So we are appealing to the public, pag may na-witness silang crime, uh, they will report it immediately to the PNP kasama na rin yung media para magkaroon ng counter-checking. In fact, yung nakita nating video na may robbery sa highway, kung naibato ka agad yung kay General Istomo, sumaharang ka agad yun, ma'am. But the fact is, late na naman na report. Later or after this uh, conference or in a hearing, General Istomo will publish the daily reference or the daily, daily uh, hotline of uh, NCRP as well as the website where they could post this kind of videos for our immediate action. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the clarification. But it seems that the PNP had, had been evasive over time um, because the Chinese community um, is cooperating with us, telling us about the, the data that they have, but it's not reconcilable with the data of the PNP. So, ano ba talagang, ilan ba talaga naging kidnapping? Kasi yung sinasabi ng iba, 56 within the past 10 days. Eh yung sinasabi ng PNP, hindi naman talaga ganon. So ano ba talaga? Ilan? Okay ma'am, I, uh, I was private to that incident because uh, on August 31, our chief PNP brief in Malacanang, in, uh, it was clear that our crime trending is going down. And on uh, September 8, I was in Congress and the group of the PPCCCI, we have here Mr. Kobing Som, sir, thank you very much, you're here. He, they complained that there is or there was 56 kidnapping incident for a period of 10 days. That was brought out and discussed in the Congress. So I brought them immediately to our office of AKG in Camp Krame. However, they cannot substantiate when did this incident happen and where. So we, 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 are, we stand on our statistics that the 56 crime incidents or kidnapping incidents did not happen. And in fact, since he is here, he could confirm, so we could act immediately. Po.
Mr. Chair, may we confirm that? Yes, uh, Senator Grispo, um, can we ask uh, Mr. Bing, Ko Bing Som uh, to comment on that? And uh, I, I think uh, also, Mr. Lujin Ang, you were quoted in the newspaper that uh, you also said the, the same uh, statement. 56 uh, kidnapping incidents within 10 days. Please comment on that, sir. Uh, Mr. Ko Bing Som. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, uh, members of the uh, uh, honorable members of this uh, Senate committee. And uh, uh, there are some reports which we have to uh, uh, be specific. No, uh, we, based on the database of the AKG, uh, those were reported cases. So those reported cases were a little bit low. I think for the for the year twenty twenty two. We have around 27 cases reported, and uh, most of these cases were uh, actually POCO related. And uh, the uh, AKG has uh, categorized this into three categories. One is the traditional kidnapping cases, and then number two is the uh, casino related, and number three is the POCO related. And out of these 27 uh, reported cases, uh, most of them are Poco related. Now, what we have uh, stated from the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, during our uh, uh, letter to uh, Honorable uh, Congressman uh, Marcelino Libanan of the uh, House of Congress, uh, I think it was last Monday, or the other Monday, po. And, uh, and during that uh, meeting, uh, General Malayo uh, was there representing the uh, chief PMP because the chief PMP was with the president in uh, Indonesia and uh, Singapore. And uh, so during that uh, meeting, I, I read the letter of our president, Mr. Rujinang, who is here with me. Uh, and, uh, and we said that we have uh, received reports, no, allegedly that there are 56 kidnapping cases in the last 10 days. Uh, but these, were, these cases were not uh, officially reported to the uh, proper law enforcement agencies uh, on uh, several reasons. Number one is, uh, as we all know, that uh, POGO per se uh, is illegal no, in China. The Chinese government do not condone uh, POGO operations. Uh, so uh, whoever is working with the POCO or uh, employees, uh, if they are abducted or kidnapped by uh, anybody else, uh, they uh, would not want to go to the authorities. Because once they go to the authorities and uh, it's reported to the Chinese embassy, immediately they will be deported back to China and they will be banned from uh, going out of the country for the next five years, and their passports will be uh, cancelled immediately. And uh, uh, so uh, I think we all have an understanding with the PNP is that uh, uh, in, in the Chinese, they, they, they will uh, categorize everything as kidnapping. But of course, we know that in, uh, in our, uh, in, in the, in the uh, uh, under our uh, term, we have the so-called abduction, uh, that's also, but in Chinese states also considered as kidnapping. Um, Mr. So, oh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Yeah, Kwok, go ahead, go ahead. Um, can you, how did you come up with the number 56? Do you actually have individuals and uh, an actual scenario where these individuals reported to you or a third party reported to you? Because you can't just come up with that number. Even if, let's say, they don't report, hindi sila nagre-report sa autoridad dahil natatakot nga po sila. Paano nyo natunto na labing uh, limang put-anim ang nakidnap o kung anumang tawag doon? Uh, thank you, uh, Senator uh, Ma'am Grace uh, Po. Uh, we would like to thank you for initiating this uh, proceeding. So, uh, so we are here this morning to shed light on uh, what's happening. Uh, you see, the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce, uh, our national office, uh, we have uh, 37 
uh, local chapters uh, throughout the country. And uh, we, re we receive uh, reports from our uh, local chapters as well as the members of our national office. And uh, those allegedly 56 were only initial, no? I was, uh, we would like one to say that uh, actual cases is mo even more than that, even more than the 56, no? Especially, this really happened during the last uh, uh, two months, I would say. And, uh, Pero may verified po yan ng mga chapters ninyo. Like they know the, an individual that was actually abducted or harassed. Uh, actually, we do not have the uh, verification of the actual cases, but from the reports that we received from our local chapters and our members, those were the figures that were related to our uh, association. And because of that, we feel that it is uh, our responsibility to bring it to the authorities. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, I, I would like to uh, point out also, this is, uh, we are not here to, to blame the PNP because if the cases are not reported to the PNP, uh, they have no way of, uh, uh, of doing, doing the job, no? But uh, we just want to, bring this to, to their attention so that they can uh, take a look and be more proactive on uh, things like this. I would like to point uh, that uh, uh, during the meeting uh, in, in Congress, uh, we would like to thank uh, General Malayo for, uh, for uh, immediately uh, ask us to go with him to Camp Krami and especially to uh, the office of uh, Colonel Castile of the AKG. And uh, we were given the, the figures, uh, presented the figures, and uh, surely, and uh, days later, uh, on the, on the, we also re report, uh, received a, a report you know, of another uh, abduction, and uh, we immediately uh, coordinate with the AKG. And uh, AKG immediately sent, I think, 30 of their agents, no? And we, they swapped down on one of the uh, uh, companies in, in Club Angeles. Uh, I think that was on the 12th or 13th of this month. And uh, Mr. because of that... Mr. Kobingsong, uh, I will just cut you short. Huh? Uh, we, we know that already. It's already, it's already in the news. Yung accomplishment nila. With the indulgence of Mr. Crispo, uh, Alam mo, sir, uh, ito lang sa akin. Uh, para maklaro natin, maklaro natin yung report ninyo at saka yung data ng PNP. Uh, on the part of the PNP, I, I think you should not uh, uh, say, you should not tell this uh, the Chamber of Commerce na they could not substantiate. Huwag niya ibigay sa kanila yung burden of proof. Uh, since di, nilagay, nilabas nila yan sa public yung numbers na yan, you have to seek their cooperation na hanapin itong 56 na ito. Eh, ala, grabe naman ko ibigyan yung burden of proof sa kanila na totoo ba itong nangyari. Nagre-report na nga sila. So, ganun dapat ang attitude natin. Hanapin natin yung 56 number na sinasabi nila. And on the part also of uh, Mr. Kubingsom, uh, since you're the source of this information, that there were indeed 56 kidnapping, as you said, some of them are unreported to the PNP, kaya hindi kayo magkapariho ng data. But then again, you are the source of such information, so sana you are also morally obliged to help the PNP locate, this, uh, uh, locate and identify these cases para uh, hindi magkakaroon ang ang taong bayan mag-isip na gan, ano ba ito? Ano ba talagang totoo dito? Makukumpuse yung taong bayan. So sana magtutulungan tayo, sir. Uh, since you are the source, it is incumbent on your part, you are morally obliged to help the pain pay. Hanapin ito. Kung saan ito. So are we in agreement with us, sir? Uh, do you agree with my proposal? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, that's why we are uh, coordinating with the, uh, closely with the AKG. And as I said earlier, that because of that one single incident, 43 uh, P 
people were apprehended, and uh, some of them were forced into prostitution, some of those ladies, and some of them were being sold. Uh, as a, it's a really a human trafficking case already is, uh, in, involved here. So uh, I think it's already in the news that these people, uh, there are 43 of them, you know? So just with one incident, one reported case, we were able to uncover 43 people. So how much more if really all of these 56 cases were reported? So could, that could be hundreds of them. So anyway, we, we are very thankful to, to the uh, uh, PNP uh, leadership that they are doing something. And because of our representation, they have started the uh, checkpoint, which we requested that they should put up checkpoints, which is uh, undertaking now. And of course, I think uh, uh, with these hearings, uh, the PNP will be uh, taking a more proactive uh, in, this, uh, in, in these cases. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate uh, your concern, sir, and also the PNP for your immediate action. Uh, maraming salamat. So uh, I hope after this uh, hearing, yung 56 na number na yan, kasi that's, that's bugging the mind of the Filipino people. They are nagpapanik sila. You are denying, and uh, the group of Mr. Kobingsom are uh, uh, insisting na may nangyari talaga, but unreported, which I'm sure it is really happening. So dapat i-reconcile natin ang data ha, afterwards para you can, PNP can come up with the official statement as far as the number of kidnapping cases na nangyayari. We are not blaming anyone here. We are all after the solution of all these cases. Mr. Kubingsong, uh, I hope that this uh, committee cannot be misconstrued as uh, blaming you for blaming, bringing out that number. In fact, we are very thankful that you brought out that number for the PNP to uh, react on. So, salamat sir sa, sa yung concern. And uh, wala tayong finger pointing dito, wala tayong blaming. I hope na magkaisa tayo dito para to come up with the real status of the peace and order situation of our country as far as kidnapping is concerned. Okay, sir? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Salamat, sir. Salamat. Uh, okay. I want to emphasize is that uh, all of these 43 people being rescued by the AKG, uh, by the way, all these people are still under uh, interrogation at the office of uh, AKG. So all of these 43 were not reported. Not, if not because of that one incident with which we reported, they would not have uh, apprehended uh, the 43 kidnapping cases. They, these 43 were never reported. Yes, yes, that is why we are very thankful for your concern na nag-report kayo, sir. Maraming salamat at na-recover yung mga tao na yan. Thank you very much. And we are, again, we are encouraging. Alam ko marami nag-monitor ito ngayon. We are encouraging if you have information about the, uh, anong term nila dyan, human trafficking or slavery, or uh, talagang pinipigilan na yung tao na lumabas against their will. Kasi yung iba, binibinta yung iba eh. Pag mayroon kayong alam yan, please report it to the pain per right away para ma-action na natin. Regardless kung Pilipino man sila o Chinese or whatever national, tao pa rin yan. Kailangan natin isave yung buhay nila at we have to stop their misery na kanilang nararamdaman ngayon. Kawawa ito mga tao na ito. So, again, thank you for that. Uh, we still have one video. Um, yeah, Mr. Chair. Joan. Isang video ba? Meron, meron, meron. Please play it. Sir, taposin ko muna yun. Um, yung report, sir. Ah, yung report mo? Yes. Sandali lang, jo Joan. Sandali lang, nga, mamaya na yan. Taposin mo natin si Colonel Kraft. Go ahead, continue. Sir, uh, with this development of the identification of the... 12 Filipinos involved in the incident, sir. Uh, rest assured, sir, na ang NCRPO, ang Southern Police District, and Paranaque City Police Station is doing everything to go after this uh, Chinese uh, suspect, sir. Sir, huwag po sila mag-alala. Pipilitin po namin masolve tong kaso na ito, sir. Ilan po, sir. Salamat po at magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Alam mo, I have no doubt with, with the caliber of the officers that in front of us now, Kilala ko kayo, everyone of you, kung gaano kayo kagaling. Kaya kahit na magaling na kayo, challenge ko pa rin kayo to bring out your best 
pagdating sa sitwasyon na ito, kilala ko kayo, everyone of you, kung gaano kayo kagaling. Pero, panat, panat, step up. Ha? Rise up to the challenge. Everybody's looking up to you. Ano kayang next move ni General Estomo? Ha? Matalinghaga pa naman itong tao na ito, kung anong ginagagawa nito. So, maghintay sila. Please, do it. So, thank you, Mr. Uh, General Krap. Ah, Colonel Krap. Ay, dapat General ka na. Bakit? Colonel ka ba? On process pa po, sir. On process? Yes, sir. Bilisan mo, General uh, Malayo. Pag process nung kuha nito, matagal na ito. Dapat na-promote na ito. Joanne, please, uh, uh, Secretary. Uh, um, General uh, Senator Bong Revilla. Yeah, before uh, no, bago ako umalis, no, I just uh, just want to to thank Mr. Bengson and the uh, PCCI too, no, uh, uh, for shedding uh, light into this, no, at uh, sana po magkatulungan ng kapulisan. Alam natin magkaiba kahit na magkaiba yung numero dahil lang nakataya naman dito eh yung buhay ng mga tao. So uh, importante magtulungan. Uh, sabi nga ni uh, Senator Bato, hindi hindi to kailangan mag uh, Uh, magturuan eh no uh, importante dito umaksyon tayo uh, bigyan natin ng uh, ng uh, kumbaga eh, kailangan makumpiyansa yung mga tao na nasa mabuting kamay sila so yun lang po Mr. Mr. Chairman so at ako may lakad thank you very much po safe ka na daw si Dr. Bong sa kuan, Skyway sabi ni Gerald <laughs> pwede ka lang <laughs> mag-ingat sila at uh, tinuturuan ako ni Senator Bato Bumarel thank you <laughs> Ingat sila, ingat sila sa'yo. Thank, thank you, thank you thank Senator you. Bong Rebilla. Uh, please play the last video. Sa kuha ng CCTV noong August 23, makikita ang ilang lalaki sa Barangay 70 Pasay City na nakatingala sa isang apartment building at tila may kinakausap. Maya-maya pa, makikita ang isang babae sa ikatlong palapag. Saka biglang tumalon. Buti at nahawakan siya ng mga lalaki. Ang babae, tumatakas pala mula sa isang grupo ng mga Chinese national na umunoy dumukot at humalay sa kanya. Ilang saglit pa dumating na mga pulis at ni-rescue ang isa pang babae na biktima rin daw ng pangaabuso, Cambodian at Vietnamese national ang mga babae. Sa mga litratong ito, kita pa ang mga paso sa katawan ng isa sa mga babae. May mga litrato rin nakita ang ilang kondom na naakalat sa loob ng apartment. Kung Pagbabalikan naman ng CCTV bago tumalon ng babae mula sa ikatlong palapag, makikita ang may isang SUV na dumating, sakay ang mga Chinese national ng mga lalaki. Pero nang makita ang kinakausap na ng ilang residente ang babae na tatalon, agad silang umalis. Kagabi. Okay, uh, any comment on this? Itong news na ito. Colonel Krapp, you have... Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, nangyari po ito sa Pasay. Uh, pero dahil po sa mabilis po ng pag aksyon po ng ating uh, kapulisan sa Pasay City Police Station na uh, nadaki po, na-arresto po natin yung mga suspects po. Ilan? Isa po, sir. Isa po. Isa lang? Yes, sir. Nationality daw? Vietnamese po, sir. Ang suspect? Yes, sir. Vietnamese. Chinese. Ang victims? Vietnamese at Cambodian, sir. Vietnamese at Cambodian. Yes, sir. So sila-sila lang nag... Uh... Mr. Chair, yes, may right. nag-report kasi po na isang local government official, uh, actually galing uh, representative ng isang uh, probinsya na ang nangyayari daw, mga turista na mga babae na pupunta dito from those countries, China, Cambodia, Vietnam, I suppose. Pagdating nila dito sa Pilipinas, turista sila, um, nakikidnap sila. Tapos, uh, pag nakidnap, uh, binibigay sa mga ibang sindikato. Uh, pag nabawi na yung, kasi siguro, binibigyan sila ng package tours doon sa mga bansa nila eh, na pwedeng pumunta ng Pilipinas. Pag, kung sino man yung gumawa ng mga package tour na yun, napapupuntayin sila dito, yun pala, meron ng mga kasabwat dahil ibebenta sila sa mga sindikato. Pag nabawi na nun, at saka lang papakawalan. Eh, kung ano yung nagasto sila para dun sa ano na yun, at kumita na rin sila. So, na, kailangan ito, merong koordinasyon din siguro sa immigration 
na tanungin yung mga pumapasok dito kung may kakayanan ba sila. Talagang human trafficking ang uh, kinakalabasan nito. Kaya malaking hamon sa mga kapulisan natin dahil talagang kailangan ang koordinasyon. Dahil kung nangyayari yan dito, uh, sigurado ako pati naman yung mga Pilipino, mga kababayan natin, ganyan din yung mga nangyayari. Kaya siguro umpisa natin mag-imbestiga. Thank you, Senator Po. Uh, any comment on that? Can you react? Alam mo, huwag tayong pumayag na gagawin nilang uh, criminal playing field itong ating Metro Manila. Hindi tayo papayag na ganun. Tagaibang bansa sila pupunta dito para maghasik ng lagim sa ating lugar. Ibig sabihin, wala silang respeto sa ating batas. Wala silang respeto sa ating kapulisan. Wala silang respeto sa ating gobyerno. So, ano pa? What do they deserve for doing that to us? They deserve the full force to the full extent of the law. Ha? Huh? Immigration. Ha? Huh? Kawawa yun, pumapasok dito as tourist. Palagay mo, anak mo, pumunta doon sa ibang lugar para turista. Pagkatapos, mayroon na pala sindikato. Yung palang gumagawa ng package store nila. May kasabot na pala sindikato doon sa ibang lugar. Pagdating ng anak mo doon para mamasyal, kikidnapin nila, gagawing sex slave. Tapos yung anak mo, tatalo na lang sa bintana dahil ayaw nang hindi na makaya yung mga paglalapastangan sa kanya. Ikita mo yung babae kahit na walang tao lang yung nagharang sa baba, tumalo sa bintana dahil hindi na niya makaya. Kung PNP, papaya kayo ganun. Kung imagine niyo anak natin yung babae na yun na ginawang sex slave ng mga foreigner. Oh! Hindi ko ma... Nasa ano? Ah, nasa na daw yung uh, dalawang babae na yun. Nasa na? Sir, ma-rescued na po ito, sir. Ah, yes, sana sila ngayon. Sir, inano po sa embassy nila, sir? Ha? Sa embassy po nila, sir. Embassy ng Vietnam at yes, ng Cambodia? Cambodia, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for rescuing them. Salamat. Pero yung suspect na ito, kasuhan talaga nyo ng gusto, yes. ha? Baka mamaya may makialam na naman dyan na politiko, i-release yan. Ha? Restuhin ninyo yung mga politiko na magkikialam kung meron man. Yes. Ha? For uh, obstruction, to justice, obstruction of justice. Yes, sir. We will Alam ko, may mga nangyari doon, doon sa Visayas. May nakialam na politiko. Pati politiko na makialam, hulihin nyo. Aristuhin nyo. Yes, sir. Um, we will do that, sir. Papayag ba kayong gaganunin lang? Tapos, mamaya, kayo naman sinisisi. Kapag lumaganap ang krimen, kayong Philippine National Police. Wala man tayo ibang inasahan. Kayo man ang National Police. Ha? Kayong sinisisihin talaga. So, please. Please. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. I don't mean, baka masabihin naman, pag sinabi ni Bato na aggressive, patay naman ang patay. Alam mo na yung mga detractors natin. You can be aggressive without being violative of the law. Be aggressive but not violative. That's my advice to you. Please. Pumilip tuloy si Senator po. Kasi alam naman niya talaga na mabait ako na tao. Hindi man talaga ako after nung patay-patay na yan. Oh, may pamilya ako. Kung anak ko magiging ganun. Di ba? Hindi. Uh, Mr. Chair, ang, ang masasabi ko dito sa Senado, mabaya talaga kayo. Magmula na nandito kayo. Ay. <laughs> eh, uh, thank you, Senator Crispo, for that. Eh. Alam na ang taong bayan yan. Hindi masiguro tayo ibuboto ng taong bayan maging senador kung sa tayo ay eh, uh, talagang uh, sa ta demonyo na tao. Hindi naman siguro. Please, uh, you react, uh, Jeronisto mo. <coughs> uh, sir, sangarin ko na rin to, sir. Anyway, nandito na rin ako sa Senado, sir. Kasi, sir, uh, noong ako yung naging director ng anti-kidnapping before, nandiyan na yung mga pogo-related uh, kidnapping na yan, sir. Ngayon, sir, may, may, may suggestion na ako, sir. Baka makatulong kayo sa aking suggestion, sir. Unang-una, alam namin, trabaho ng mga Bureau of uh, Immigration yung mga pagpasok ng mga foreign national. Sana, sir, 
Itong programa ko sa NCRPO, mas masuportahan niyo dahil tuloy-tuloy yung aking police visibility. Meron tayong patrol, meron tayong mobile patrol, mer meron akong motorcycle patrol. So ang plano ko sana, sir, yung ipapawuso ko yung Oplan Sita sa lahat ng mga foreign national. Sample, may, may checkpoint. Uh, sample, sir, may checkpoint. Uh, sample, yun bawa sa Kamuning. Oplan Sita, pa nakita ng uh, Chinese kao, ano ka, ID, ID. May yung magalong ba, sir? So, in short, Sandali lang. What prevented you from doing that? Ha? Huh? Immigration kasi po yan, sir. Uh, baka, so, sir, baka magalit sa amin, sir. Baka, baka ma-open sila. Hindi, hindi. hindi. Disparate times need disparate measures. Ah, you, okay. you think yes, that's sir. a disparate measure na sitahin mo, hanapan mo na pag yes, gawin mo. Uh, uh, immigration, oh. mananagot ba sa batas ang PNP kapag uh, sitahin nila, hanapan ng identification like uh, like uh, visa or passport? Mayroon ba violation na ginawa ang polis niyan? Um, immigration. So, Chair, um, uh, just like what you have said, may jurisdiction naman ho yata ang uh, law enforcement, especially the PNB, to check. Uh, sa amin po, we're focusing lang po sa ano, uh, immigration violations and immigration violators. So, so very clear, coming from immigration, you are not uh, uh, you're not prevented from doing that. Because that's your job, to maintain peace and order. Hindi naman kayo hindi naman kayo kumukuha ng passport o visa nung uh, nung mga foreigner na tatakan ninyo. That's not no longer your, that's no longer your job. Yung makialam kayo doon sa mga tatak-tatak. Pero yung pagsita, for identification purposes, para lang hinanapan mo ng ID ng tao, ano ka, saan ka, ano ka ang ginagawa mo dito. You can do that. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, I just yes, want to clarify, kasi nga you were saying not to be violated. Um, paki-expound yung programa mong Oplan Sita. Ano to? Pag, pag mayroong sasakyan, nakita mo Chinese national, pipigilan mo, ganon? Yes, ma'am. May danger dyan. I mean, ako, talagang gusto kong mahuli ang mga mga salbahe na mga sindikato. Pero kunwari, may, may, na, nasuspechahan lang kayo, uh, mukhang Chinese ito, uh, pipigilan ko to. Mr. Chair, pwede ba yan sa patas natin? Siguro ma'am, randomly, randomly, hindi naman yung profiling na, na talaga pag sabi mong Chinese, isitahin mo, no? Hindi, randomly, yung, may instinct yung police eh. May instinct siya na ito, mukhang may mga baril ito na dinadala itong mga tao na ito. Pwede ko siguro itong uh, isitahin. Plain view, plain view doctrine. Nakita mo may bukol. May bukol, so... Ano pang gagawin mo? Polis ka. Plain view doctrine. Sigma Hindi naman yung 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 talagang uh, purposive na uh, magiging kwanta dyan, magiging uh, yung kwanta dyan. Um, ganit, ganito po siguro, General. Siyempre, kayo ang expert dyan sa trabaho ninyo. Pero pag nakikita na ninyo na para yatang ang daming mga kasamang bantay ito, sino kaya ito? Yun nga yung sinasabing instinct. Meron kayong cause to check, di ba? Kasi baka mamaya, hindi rin nyo alam, ay mukhang Chinese si Mr. Pedro pala yung nasa sasakyan, o kaya si Mr. Lim, o kaya si Mr. Beng Sum, o kaya si Mr. Bon Leong. So, ito yung mga Filipino, Chinese, but we, we can't discriminate. But when it comes to the safety of our countrymen, that's the priority. So, dapat merong cause. Bakit, bakit nyo, ano, siguro yung rehistro ng sasakyan nila, bakit Uh, walang plate number, o kaya uh, ang itim ng tint, o kaya nagkakat ng traffic. Di ba parang merong cause to check them? I'm sure you can find one, especially if you suspect them to be uh, part of a syndicate. Thank you. So, sir, very clear yan. Alam ko naman, you, can, you know how to do your job in the legal, uh, within the legal framework of the law. Di ba? Alam yes, sir. Alam naman natin yung paano, how to do checkpoint, ano mga basic requirements, paano ka mga up-cap, hindi ka basta-basta mag -cup -cup kung uh, walang, walang rason. Plain view, nakita mo, may nakabukol yung bodyguard nung uh, yung mga Chinese, alam mo, Chinese national ito, galing mainland. Tapos mga bodyguard na, possibly, yun pang namamaril ng mga bodyguard na yan. 
you will do your job. Sitahin mo. Eh, yes, like, sir. Basic, basic uh, police sir, may, procedures. May pangalawa pa akong uh, suggestion, sir. Kung ano, sir. Ito, para sa kabutihan talaga, sir, ito yung ng mga nangyari, yung po, lalo yung pogo-related na ito, sir. Sana sir, lahat ng mga kuwapaso dito, ng mga foreign na uh, national, hindi lang Chinese, lahat sana sir, kung papaso dito, aside from may record yung BI, yung Bureau, Bureau of uh, Immigration, sa amin sa PNP dapat sir, by uh, securing national police cl clearance, para sir, uh, in that way sir, parang ano rin yan sir, eh, parang, Prevent, uh, parang preventive measure namin, sir. Parang alam namin lahat kung sino mga pukapasok at kung, 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 kung sino dyan ang mayroong gagawing mga krimen sa, sa Pilipinas. Yes, uh, mayroon akong nakapile na bill, yung National Police uh, Clearance uh, Bill. Uh, Ihigir na natin yan para ma-institutionalize ma institutionalize yung pag-issue nyo yung police clearance. Dahil sa ngayon, yung police clearance nyo, barabarangay, munimunisipyo, Mag-issue ng isang siyudad ngayon ng police clearance, si Bato de la Rosa is cleared doon sa isang siyudad. Pagpunta sa kabilang siyudad, hindi pala cleared dahil mayroon pala akong kaso doon na pagnanakaw. So dapat isentralize nyo yung database ninyo para isa na yung uh, police clearance ninyo. National in scope, PNP kayo eh. Pure national in scope, civilian in character. So dapat yung inyong clearance, nationalize, centralize na rin. So, huwag kang mag-alala. Uh, bilisan ko yung aking uh, bill. But right now, in the, for the exigency of the situation, kailangan, kung kailangan nyo ng data, you go to Bureau of Immigration. They can provide you with the data. Ha? Mag-coordinate muna kayo. Habang wala pa yung press clearance mo na siya. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead, uh, Sir Turaymi. Yes, thank you. I uh, had to excuse myself uh, for another hearing. Uh, but, Mr. Chair, uh, I've been monitoring what's been discussed. Napapansin ko lang, kulang na kulang talaga yung pagkakaisa ng ating national government agencies. Uh, on one hand, yung police, inaako lahat ng responsibilidad. On the other hand, yung ibang ahensya naman should bolt in. Mag-isip tayo ng konting innovation, medyo creative tayo. Dito sa Oplan Sita, obvious naman, pwede natin gamitin at patulungin ang LTO, ang LTFRB para sa bayan lakad. Kasi madali silang magsita, di ba? Marami. Sino ba ang walang uh, sirang uh, ilaw? Uh, medyo damage yung ganyan, hindi pwedeng sitahin para medyo matino naman yung pagtitingin natin at hindi naman magulo. Napansin ko lang yung BID, sinasabi nga ni uh, Chairman na dapat may centralized database. Mag-share naman kayo ng database ninyo. Ganun din yung ating uh, uh, ang ating uh, PNP. Uh, nandito si Tateng, si General Nartates. Kasama ko yan sa Ilocos at PD ko siya. Nakaproblema kami sa mga trabahador sa iba't ibang windmill. Di namin kilala kasi yung BID di naman binibigay sa lokal. Yung lokal naman, wala naman nakikiusap sa lokal pero kilala nila. Namumukhaan nila lahat, lalo na yung aming mga Chino ay very aggressive. Alam naman nila yung nangyayari. Tapos yung mga IPAs, yung mga Investment Promotion Agencies, PESA, BOI. Kapag may papasok na foreigners, ibigay rin ang lista sa pulis. Yun ang problema. Bakit hindi nagbibigay yung mga listahan ng pulis, yung mga PESA, yung mga EPSA, MEPSA, lahat yan, they fall under the DTI, they fall under uh, either BOI or PESA or Clark or Subic. Nagbibigay ba sila ng listahan ng foreigners? Parang wala eh. Kasi yung experience namin, wala eh. Uh, gapang ka pag maghahanap ka ng uh, mga listahan. And I think we need to call on uh, the technical agencies like the ICT, the OST, CICC. It's very, very clear that uh, we need their help as well. So dapat, ambag-ambag tayo rito, huwag ninyo aakuhin lahat ng problema. Kasi may mga lista yan eh. At the same time, yung mga national government na may relevant information, uh, mangunahan na kayo na ibigay sa pulis. Kasi napakahirap naman ang ganito. Pati local government, alam natin yan. That's all po. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, what uh, Sir Turaymi is driving is all of government approach. Magtutulungan tayo. Huwag niyo pabayaan yung PNP. Kawawa naman yung PNP. They are the whipping boy. Uh, alam naman yun, bakit kayo whipping boy? Because you are the biggest boy and you are the strongest boy. Kaya you are the whipping boy. 
Senator J. Bing, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yung concern ko lang, no, kanina, kanunfer, sinabi ni, uh, sandali ko makita, ni General uh, Malayo, no, you confirm nung tanong po ni, query po ni Senator Grace po, whether foreign nationals are allowed to have to li uh, the license to possess or even carry fire. Sabi nyo, hindi. No, talagang bawal. Ang question ko lang, ang siguro, concerning BID, no, uh, pasensya na, pero si Depco, Fortunato Manahan, no, um, meron po nangyayari, Mr. Chairman, uh, na na mod superandi, that Chinese, hindi lang Chinese nationals, foreign nationals, are using the identities of dead persons para sila mag-grant, makakuha ng, or mag, so that they will be classified as Filipino nationals. So yan ang ano, uh, PN, uh, sa PNP, please take note that, that, that this is, we will confirm, pero alam ko nangyayari ito. No? Marami ng mga nationals, mga foreign nationals, in particular mga mainland Chinese na pumasok dito, are using identities of dead persons with uh, uh, so that they can avail of the uh, of the rights and being uh, or be, uh, be uh, considered as Filipino citizens. So, pwede, kailan niya sa BID siguro or uh, National Statistics. Ma'am, Madam Chair, yan po ang uh, na, siguro pwede um, siguro sa BID, pwede nyo bang i-confirm na this is probably this is happening? Yes, uh, Mr. Manahan of BID are recognized. Uh, is this in fact a practice that is prevalent? Um, yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh, may mga cases and incidents po kami na intercept sa airports and uh, dito po sa community. And uh, uh, na-develop na, na naman po namin yun and uh, na, napapadeport po namin yung mga yun. Uh, may mga cases po na may mga fake or fraudulent uh, birth certificates, even marriage certificates, and Philippine passports. Not only Philippine passports, so pati identities ng other nationals. So yun po ang ano, no? yung tanong ni Senator Grace po kanina, ta, sinagot ng mga PNP, hindi pwede ang foreign national. But ang, in that case, na kung sila po ay meron holder na ng passport, ng Philippine passport, or any other national IDs, because they are using already identities of dead persons, paano ho nyo gagawin uh, sa PNP? How can you check that they are really indeed Filipino citizens? Eh, minsan talagang alam naman natin itsura na mga ano eh, na mga mainland Chinese, iba talaga eh. Di ba? Against Chinois, you can already tell. So, paano nyo po, what will be the safeguards na kung de, yung modus operandi uh, na ito na was confirmed by the BID, at uh, Deputy Commissioner, na nangyayari, Mr. Chairman, na talagang ginagamit nila yung dead person's identities, ano po ang uh, pwedeng safeguard ng PNP not to issue um, firearms no, for them to possess or even uh, carry? Yes, sir. Actually, the PNP will be tied up by the documents submitted because these are considered official documents. However, if they cannot submit clearances as required, then we have to hold their application, sir. Oh, that's, uh, no, that's very alarming, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, this was confirmed by uh, Secretary Rimulia no, that uh, ito yung tinitignan nila ngayon that uh, these nationals, these foreign nationals are using the identities of dead persons so that they can uh, be, they can avail of Philippine passports and other national IDs para po sila po ay makonsider na as Filipino. Ang danger nga po, baka nga mamaya dahil sa galing po nila, alam niyo naman dito Mr. Chair sa gobyerno natin, may tinatawag na pampatalino No, maglalagay ko lang ko dahil tatalino, may pampabobo rin. Meron din pampalabo na mata. At nakakatakot dyan, baka mamaya, ikitang-kita na natin na foreign nationals just because they are possess in possession of um, national uh, IDs or even passports, baka mamaya makalusot ko sila na makakuha. So that's my concern. Sana po, uh, PNP should take note of that. No? Then that this has been confirmed by our Deputy Commissioner of uh, the Bureau of Immigration. No? So, and Mr. Chair, before we continue, yun po yung query kasi ni Senator Grace, eh, kung foreign nationals are allowed, but they're not. But if they are, not, they are foreign nationals uh, posing as Filipinos. Yun ang problema. Thank you, Senator JB. Before I recognize uh, Dr. Henry and uh, 
Uh, Mr. Cecilio Pedro, mag-reakla ko. Uh, yung pinos na sitwasyon ni Senator JB, ma magduda ka, di ba? Bakit ito Pilipino, yung kanyang papilis? Eh kung kausapin mo naman, eh, hirap magtagalog. Imposible mangyari yan, di ba? So, ito lang, ito lang. Kung talaga magaling sila magtagalog, may teknik ako na ginawa eh. Pakantahin mo nga ng bayang magiliw. National anthem. Kung kaya ng kumanta ng national anthem, na totoo kang Pilipino. Oo, oh, pakantahin mo ng national anthem. Pilipino ka, kung maruno ka, propaganda. Sorry, Ay, break ito papilis mo. Mr. Chair, baka mag-practice ang mga yan, ha? Ha? Biglang narinig na yung requirement natin, baka mag-practice. Yung mga ibang requirement, wag na wag nyo nang sabihin. <laughs> okay, yung... okay. Thank you, <laughs> Senator Grace Poe. Uh, Mr. Chair, before we uh, continue, yes, okay. meron lang akong correction. I stand corrected. Kanina kasi nabanggit ko yung mga uh, Chinese nationals na nakita po ng kaibigan natin si Gov. Susan niya sa Pasino. Hindi po siya nasa gaming area. Just to clarify, kasi bawal po ang government officials. She had a meeting outside. So nakita lang niya doon sa hotel na maraming uh, foreign, uh, maraming body, mga security o bodyguards yung mga foreign nationals. So hindi po sa Casino area. No, I stand corrected. Thank you for that correction, uh, Senator JP. M Mr. Chair, before yes, you go to Mr. Henry and Mr. Cecilio Pedro, um, I just want to reconcile this because this data came from the PNP Directorate for Legislative and Detective Management. Um, in the past, kasi, the past few days, parang sinasabi ng PNP, walang crime hype. Ano lang, crime hype. There's no hype, just hype. But, um, is this a normal situation? From January to March, there's an 8,535 index crimes. Is that correct? From January to March, 8,535. From June to August, 8,469. I think during our briefing, that was about uh, the data that was given to us. Now, given that this was the data given by your legislative um, liaison, director of I would like to point out that it still means an average of 15 murder homicides, homicides, 14 rape cases, and 14 robberies still occur every day. These are reported. So, you know, when you talk about 15 murder ho homicides a day, medyo malaki-laki pa yan. Tapos yung isa naman, uh, ayon sa, kasi we're going to segue to our Chinese representatives, uh, Filipino Chinese representatives. Ayon naman sa Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, these kidnappers use torture, intimidation, rape women, and send the videos to the victims' relatives demanding huge sums of money. Are you not worried about the possibility of escalation? Imagine, uh, kaya hindi nagsusumbong ang mga yan sa police kasi pupuntahan yung mga kamag-anak nila Kung Cambodia man yan, uh, Vietnam man yan, o China, o magpapadala pa ng video. So, marami pong mga insidenteng ganun. Ewan ko kung ma may reaction po kayo ukol dito. And I think we really need a spokesperson. Sino ba talagang spokesperson ng PNP? Kasi parang lately ang dami-daming nagsasalita, eh, di ba? Hindi natin matukoy. Sino ba? Sino? Sir General Alba is our PIO, sir. I think you should let her uh, update the public more. And not just about uh, the Chinese nationals or Cambodian or Vietnamese. More importantly, our citizens. Yun nga, wala nga mga organizations to protect them, eh, except government organizations. So, with the data I, I just read, is that uh, accurate, sir? Ma'am, I'll refer it to the custodian of this record, our DID, ma'am. Mom, we'll give the specific reports because what we have is the whole data from January to September and we will break it down by month. Oh, okay, that, that's okay. Please submit to the committee so that we can also reconcile uh, the data that we have. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for accommodating. Salamat, uh, Senator Grispo. Uh, can we hear from... Sino bang nauna sa inyo? Uh, Dr. Henry, please, yes, yes, uh, the floor. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa. 
Kanina yung sinabi mong ano, yung bahay, ano, yung uh, bayang magiliw ba? Baka pwede bahay kubo na lang para ano, <laughs> sabay natin dalawa. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir, correction. The official title of that is uh, Lupang Hinirang. Uh, First line lang yung bayang magiliw eh. Tayo, nag-aral tayo ng elementary. Uh, bayang magiliw, ready, sing. <laughs> Di ba yan ang palagi natin narinig? Kaya bayang magiliw na sasabi natin. Uh, pero uh, Lupang Hinirang ang title uh, ng ating uh, national anthem. Thank, thank you, you sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for correcting us, uh, Chairman. Uh, good morning uh, to our Chairperson, Senator Ronald De La Rosa. Of course, uh, Senator Aimee Marcos, Senator uh, Grespo, uh, Senator I uh, J.B. Ercito. And uh, I will go to the next one, you know, si, uh, si Bong, Senator Bong. Uh, you know, uh, the Federation is one of the biggest uh, business associations uh, in the Philippines today. Uh, on behalf of the 170 chambers and business organizations under the Federation of the Filipino Science Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated, we would like to thank you for inviting us to this public hearing on the reported increase in kidnapping incidents and other crimes. Like many, we have received reports of increased kidnappings of Chinese nationals in Filipinos of Chinese descent recently. We have likewise seen videos circulating in social media and messaging applications purporting to show abductions and torture of Chinese nationals. There were also news reports of, Filip of people, including children, who were kidnapped and killed for their organs. In fact, the Federation has received several uh, calls from the parents that they would not allow their children to go to school because baka, baka kikitnapping nila, tapos kung ano, papatayin, tapos kung ano organ nila. So after receiving these reports, we have conducted consultations with different groups of the Filipino Chinese community and relevant stakeholders, including our local government units and law enforcement officers, to verify the veracity of these reports. We could not confirm whether these reports are really true Nevertheless, we have proactively set up a hotline where members of the community can request for assistance or report any incidents of crimes they witness. We from the FFCCCII offer our assistance in any way we can. On this matter, we request all the members of the community, the Filipino Chinese community, not to spread unverified news or rumors or share and verified posts via social media or messaging applications. Because of this unverified information may cause unnecessary panic and harm the international image of the Philippines as a tourism and investment destination. While the reports are unverified, some of them, we request our government to continue to improve the peace and order situations in our country, to attract more tourists and foreign investment. We want our economy to continue its growth and counteract the negative effects of the global pandemic and the war between Russia and Ukraine. We also espouse the upholding, of the upholding of the rule of law and strengthening of the criminal justice system in the Philippines. So that criminals are kept off the streets, violence is kept to a minimum and the economy is given a chance to flourish. The FFCCCI and its members are always ready to assist the government and other stakeholders to maintain peace and order, to prevent, prevent crimes for the sake of the Philippine economic and social progress. For information, we have chapters uh, from Apari to Tawi Tawi, and uh, the Federation has so far for the past more than 65 years, they've been doing not only charitable acts, but also uh, a lot of things to keep also peace and order, especially among the Filipino Chinese. I think uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa should know that even before uh, the, when I was still fresh in, about 25 years ago, and I was still fresh in the Federation, uh, we were one of the biggest supporters of PAOK TF during that time. And I think uh, our Senator is from PAOK TF, and most of the, our generals here are also from PAOK TF. Yeah. Puro magagaling itong mga, eh, mga sakit na pwesto. Eh, mga, ano, eh. So, 
I think we're in good hands. Again, thank you, Senator. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Henry Lim Bonleong. Uh, uh, salamat, sir, at nandito ka. Uh, although you told me that uh, you're not feeling well, but because in the interest of uh, peace and order, uh, nandito ka. Uh, maraming salamat mo sa iyong continued support. Alam ko, grabe ka makasuporta pagdating sa peace and order. Noon pa, uh, kapitan pa ko, major pa ko. Alam ko na yung support mo pagdating sa peace and order. Maraming salamat po, sir. You, General um, Senator Aimee, you have the floor. Uh, yes, I just wanted uh, the reaction of the Federation, uh, President Henry and the rest of the officials to the 6 September um, pronouncement that uh, PCCI President Eugene Ang reported 56 kidnapping incidents in the country, including both Filipino and Chinese nationals, including children as well. This figure excludes unreported cases um, by the police and yet known to the Filipino Chinese community. Is this grossly exaggerated or is this in fact uh, true? I think the well, representative of this is here also. Would you like to comment on this? Um, uh, before, uh, before you respond, sir, uh, Mr. Ko Bing, Bing Song. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, a while ago, yung wala ka dito, napag-usapan na namin yan. Ah, yung, sorry, sorry. Yung report na yan, and uh, they are in agreement. The PNP and the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce are in agreement that after this, hopefully after this uh, hearing, uh, their numbers will reconcile. Because uh, uh, nag-exchange sila ng information, yung iba hindi pa malocate ng PNP, tutulungan pa sila ni, ng Chamber of Commerce na locate yung ibang cases na yan. So, sorry, <clears throat> sorry you for the redundancy, sir? but uh, I was really going to say that we need to work very, very closely with the Filipino-Chinese community. First of all, sila nagkakaintindihan eh. At uh, secondly, sila rin ang ginagamit at binibiktima. So, uh, sorry about the redundancy, but uh, yes, uh, it's to reiterate the notion that we need to work together. No, it, it only underscores the, the importance of that uh, information. So, you want to respond again, uh, sir, uh, Mr. Kobingsong, uh, for, uh, para ma-record ulit. Baka hindi na-record yung kanina, parang nasira yung ating, uh, ating recording kanina. Please uh, respond, sir. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you also for the question raised by uh, the Honorable uh, Senator Aimee. Um, uh, again, I would like to uh, emphasize that uh, the uh, Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce Industry, or FFCCCII, and the uh, Philippine Chinese Chamber, PCCCI, are uh, two different organizations. Of course, the uh, uh, FFCCCCII the, is one of the oldest uh, uh, Filipino Chinese organizations in the Philippines, and uh, most of them, or uh, almost all of them, uh, belong to the old Chinese who have been uh, uh, in the Philippines for for uh, maybe half a century or more before. Uh, well, the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce are mostly composed of the uh, new immigrants who came to the country uh, in the 80s up to the up to now. No? So the last 40 years, I would say. So uh, uh, most of these the recent incidents of uh, kidnappings and abductions were mostly uh, uh, related to uh, Chinese who, who came over to the Philippines uh, uh, in the last maybe 10, 20 years. And, uh, and these uh, kidnappers were targeting the, the new, new Chinese. And so, in fairness to the Federation uh, FFCCCII, uh, I think they don't have much information as far as these uh, kidnappings and abductions are concerned. Uh, however, the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce or the PPCCCI, uh, we are more in constant contact with the Chinese who came to the Philippines. And they mostly they report those cases to us. Uh, 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 Again, uh, for the information of the Honorable Senator uh, Aimee, uh, we, we have already uh, identified earlier that uh, uh, the figures uh, between that we have reviewed in, in Congress a few days ago 
and the uh, database of the uh, AKG, uh, there's no conflict actually because the AKG are the, are the re reported cases. So what we are saying that the one that we uh, present to the Congress uh, earlier were unreported cases. Uh, to, to prove the point is that uh, about two days ago, there was one abduction and uh, the demand was 1 million pesos for ransom. So uh, we coordinate with the AKG and we prepare the ransom money. And of course, the AKG with their uh, operatives uh, together with us, uh, we were able to, to trace and, uh, and, and uh, try to exchange no, for the, to ransom the, the victim. And during that uh, operation, 43 Chinese nationals were rescued uh, in, uh, in uh, Pangbanga, in a uh, club, not to be specific. And uh, all of these 43 were uh, are still under the in interrogation at the AKG. So uh, my point is that all of these 43 people were re unreported cases. They were never reported to the AKG or the Philippine National Police, if not because of the rescue of that single person. So that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much, sir. Maraming salamat, sir. Uh, maraming salamat for that information. Uh, Mr. Chair, yeah. just a clarification. Uh, how, were, how, how, were, how were the authorities able to find out about uh, the situation in Pampanga? Was it reported to you first? And you were the ones that alerted the AKG? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we, uh, because the victim approach, uh, victim's relatives approach us. And so we, we uh, bring the ransom money and we coordinate it with the AKG. Okay. And, and, and that's what happened. See, that's why it's good to have a co coordination with the, with the PNP. And the, but again, uh, Mr. Henry pointed out that part of securing the safety of our citizens and also our guests from other countries is so that our economy uh, will grow even more, tourism will flourish, etc. So my question is this, to the Chinese community, as you know, uh, there are legal pogo operators in the country, but there are also illegal pogo operators. I had a dialogue with uh, one of the secretaries and apparently the income generated from pogos is about a billion to less than two billion pesos a year from the revenue of taxes being paid from pogos. Do you think it's worth the social costs? Because if we have a policy of no pogo whatsoever, then it will be harder for illegal pogo operators to operate because obviously the policy is no pogo whatsoever. So can you answer that question? Knowing that it's already illegal in China and they're looking for ways to still send um, workers here from Chinese Cambodians, Chinese, uh, Vietnamese Chinese, etc. What is your opinion? Is there is the PCCI or FCC? I have a stand on Pogos in the Philippines. Uh, Senator, uh, with regards to Pogo, uh, you know that Pogo has been a long uh, ban in Cambodia and Myanmar. That's why they moved to the Philippines. And uh, I think Pogo is still allowed in the Philippines, or that, so that's why they came here. But of course, before because of the pandemic, no, uh, not dislocating my bank pogos, and that's why all of this happened. So I do not know, and uh, I think it's a uh, legislators know whether right now whether I do not know if pogo is only generating one to two billion pesos a year. But most I know before that pogo was generating more. Um, maybe that was uh, the pandemic um, figures, but I, I I got it. I don't want to reveal who, but I got it from a. a a person of authority in government who knows about revenue. I'm not going to say for now, but uh, I can we, tell we, you later. Uh, on. Your Honor, we, we can check with the uh, Pagkor. And ito Pagkor yan. Ah, may Pagkor ba dito? How much do we earn uh, ah, annually yeah. from Pogo? Baka naman kasi Pagkor lang kumuha. Hindi na pantas. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, for income generated from offshore gaming operations, uh, for September to December 2016, we recorded 73 million pesos. In 2017, 3 billion pesos. In 2018, 6 billion pesos. 2019, 
5 billion pesos, 2020, 4 billion pesos, 2021, 2 billion pesos, and from January to July of this year, Mr. Chair, 1, million, 1 billion pesos, Mr. Chair. Bakit pababa ng pababa yung figures niya? Um, the pandemic, Mr. Chair, affected the operations po, given that the um, the operations po are concentrated on the number of personnel, the number of their personnel. So but with the pandemic... So the highest figure is how much? The highest figure and what year? Six billion, Mr. Chair, in 2018. 2018. 2018. Mr. Chair, I'm just point... This is a, a good point to study. So we make six billion from POGOs, but the reputation of the country is also affected. So six billion is not enough, I think, a justification to host them here. That's, of course, my opinion. Uh, many might disagree because I'm sure there are others in the real estate industry who think that POGOs bring in, uh, will drive the market up, which is premature also for Filipinos. Because sila, pag nag sila, kaya nila bayaran mas kinamangkano. Eh, yung mga Pilipino are priced out of their condominiums because uh, these POGO operators can pay two years in advance. So I mean, I mean, it's good for some, but six billion at what cost socially for our country? The, the, that's all my, my point, uh, Mr. President. And lastly, before I leave, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Evangelista, who's been a tireless uh, advocate against crimes and in support of the family's victims. So, Mr. Evangelista, pinag-uusapan natin dito mga banyaga. Pero I'm sure sa inyo may datos pa rin kayo ng mga naapektuhan natin mga kababayan. What's your latest uh, information? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Be before you you speak, uh, Sir Boy Evangelista, um, can we have you take your oath, please, uh, Secretariat? Thank you, sir. Sir, kindly raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this meeting and investigation? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Please uh, continue. Uh, okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Yes. Chair uh, and members of this uh, honorable uh, com uh, members of the committee. Um, regarding uh, data, kami po sa BACC, we practically stop. Uh, giving datas. No? Uh, first, ang, ang dahilan po doon is uh, for us, uh, yung datas is all self-serving for, for any organization. Yung datas po, for us, we believe that true datas is uh, the use report we see every day uh, fully validated, assessed by the media editors, news editors, at uh, yun po ang nagbibigay sa amin no, no? ng signal na there is an existing problem when it comes to crime. So, yung series of uh, uh, major crimes, especially lately, no, yung mga ano, no, uh, crime against women uh, that leads to murder, uh, crime against person, and all major crimes, no, uh, specifically itong ang kidnapping. So, ang, ang, ang take po namin dito, uh, yung, yung datos, instead of giving us data, mas gusto po namin bigyan nyo kami ng uh, anti-criminality or anti-crime deterrence and measures. That's number one. And uh, it should be preemptive, no? Hindi yung after the fact. So, yung, 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 and also, uh, sana maging yung PNP leadership should always be visible on national TV uh, giving messages, assurance, accepting the existence of a problem, tumataas ang krimen para they can find solutions. So, in that way, yung, yung moral ng people on the ground, nabubus nila eh. So, ang VACC is 24 years na po sa advocacy. It was founded by uh, the late Dante Jimenez and uh, members ng ano, no, victims of uh, injustice, uh, especially mga heinous crime. Ako po, 12 years na po ako sa advocacy uh, since my son was kidnapped, killed, burned, almost beyond recognition. Uh, that started my crusada. No? So, uh, nung 12 years na yan, pila ata every time na mupo na new leaders, Ang nilalabas na datos is pababa, uh, pababa ng pababa ang crime. So, 
parang ano no? So meaning in 12 years dapat zero climb na po ngayon. So hindi po kami sumasandal sa datos. Sumasandal kami sa mga news report daily kung saan nakikita natin I, ano ha, mainstream media, I'm talking of mainstream media na dumaan sa news desk, validated assessment. Ang totoo nga po niyan, yung mga lumabas dito ng mga videos dyan, uh, I am part of that initially to, to give it to sa mga mainstream media. Then we supported that by getting spot reports. Kaya kasi po, maingat po nga kami dyan, ano? So, uh, yun, kasi heavy po ang usapan natin sa datos. Sa kami isang po, ano, sa totoo lang, pag naglabas po kayo ng datos na bumababa ang crime, it is a big insult on us victims who are crying out, grieving, tapos bibigyan po nyo kami ng datos na bumababa ang crime. Hindi po acceptable po sa amin yan. The reason why, hindi na po kami masyadong nakasandal doon sa mga uh, uh, members namin, chapters namin na nagre-report. Uh, uh, o, o hindi na kami nagbilang ng datos. Well, that's my thoughts. Uh, and uh, gusto ko lang thank, thank, thank you sir I, I wrote down your points sinabi nyo um, kailangan, mas kailangan ng deterrence measures, anti-crime and deterrence measures pangalawa, sinabi mo, dapat visible ang PNP, there should be one voice of the PNP that says uh, we will not tolerate this this is what we're going to do, this is the number that you call, I mean I'm glad PCCI has a number, I don't know if you want to share that to the general public but I think uh, the PNP should always remind the public who to call. And then um, the effect of this is a boost in morale of the citizens. So uh, before I end, um, um, Mr. Chair, and I would like to thank our good chairman uh, for, for all of the insights that he has put in. He's also trying to boost the morale of the PNP as well, uh, having been part of the organization and for allowing us to speak freely in his hearings. We appreciate that. Now. Um, in the end, these are the things that we need to, to talk about. I think the PCCI, the FCCC, and the, the PNP uh, should have a, a game plan of what needs to be done, uh, who is your point person, which I'm sure you're doing now. And then number two, um, I think that uh, Oplan Sita, uh, you should have a, a gu guidelines. Please submit that to the committee. Uh, how you plan to implement that, what are the parameters of that, if it's viable. And then number three, something to think about, perhaps another committee that we should file this um, resolution. I think I will file a resolution to look into the social costs uh, of the POGO operations in the country. So uh, that's all, Mr. Chair, again. Thank you so much for your, for your time. And to our guests, thank you. Thank you, Senator Grispo. Uh, marami salamat. We would like to... Acknowledge the presence uh, virtually of Senator Jingo Estrada, um, the Vice Chairman of this committee. Uh, Thank you. you want to say something, uh, Mr. Vice Chairman, Your Honor? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Do we have a uh, representative from the uh, Philippine National Police? Yes, sir. Uh, they are around. Uh, General Malayo, the number two man of the PNP is here. Okay. Uh, I would like to propound questions. Yes, sir, go ahead. General Mal Malayo? Okay, General yes, Malayo. Yes, General Malayo po. Uh, may I ask what is the overall uh, situation of uh, our crimes right now? Is there really a crime surge? Before you respond, General Malayo, with the indulgence of Senator Jingo Estrada, I just would like to make an administrative announcement. Uh, you, have, you have your uh, lunch, and this is working lunch. If... You may, please, pwede kayo kumain dahil uh, alam kong past 12 na eh. Pwede po kayo kumain, sir. Uh, working lunch tayo. Uh, go ahead, uh, General Malayo. You respond to the question of uh, Senator Restrada. Thank you, uh, Senator Jingoy. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if I have to base our data on the crime statistics presented by the director of the DIDM, yes, sir, we have a downtrend of our crimes. You were saying a downtrend? But yes, some sir. people say otherwise. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, 
Yes, sir. I'm looking at our statistics, and with me is the deputy director of the IDM, and uh, our statistics shows that this is still going downwards, sir. Uh, ano yung pinakamaraming uh, kidnapping cases? Pogo related, casino related, or the uh, traditional uh, anti kidnapping group? For the period 2022, we have the Pogo related as the highest form of kidnapping in the country, sir. Il ilan percent? Uh, I'll use the exact number. We have uh, 15 out of the... Okay. Out of the 29 reported incidents for 2022, 15 are POGO related. So more or less, it's uh, 50 percent, sir. Uh, okay, you yourself claim that uh, many of the kidnapping cases are uh, POGO related. May I know what is the reason on the increase of uh, kidnapping cases with regard to this uh, uh, POGO? If, again, I have to base it from our statistics. From January to June, the rise of POGO-related incident could be attributed because we started to open this uh, game or this online gaming. But from July to September, we only have one incident reported. Thank you, sir. During, during what year? This year? <laughs> This year, sir, only have one rela related Pogo incident. No, sir, uh, we have a total of 15 Pogo related incidents. Okay, and uh, if I have to check it from January to June, we have a total of 14. For July up to September, the month of the new administration, we only have one Pogo related. Po. So, tingin nyo bakit, bakit uh, mas marami ang Pogo related cases? Cases sa uh, Casino related cases or the traditional uh, AKG? Um, uh, Dr. Jingoy, if I may interject lang kundi. Yes, Bago po. Sumagot, bago siya sumagot, Sir Dr. Jingoy, pwede mo explain kung ano yung Pogo related, casino related at uh, traditional uh, kidnapping for ransom uh, cases uh, para maklaro sa mga nagmumonitor sa ating hearing ngayon. Please. To start with the Pogo related incidents sir, as a kidnapping uh, activity, the victims are workers of Pogo. While sa casino, ito po yung galing sa casino area, the players that were abducted. And lastly, yung traditional kidnapping are those take victims taken for primarily for the kidnap or ransom or with money. Okay. Uh, General yeah, Malayo. Go ahead, go ahead, Senator Jingoy. Go ahead. General Malayo, tungkol dun sa Pogo-related cases, bakit uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, casualty dyan? Sa tingin nyo? Um, based dun sa mga interrogations, uh, interviews sir, ng mga victims, accordingly, there are workers sa Pogo na dinala po dito sir ng company nila, but eventually they change companies. So kinukuha na po ulit sila sa original na nag-hire. Doon po nagkaroon ng reported uh, Pogo kidnapping or uh, kidnapping related po doon sa Pogo. And this is very evident by the report or the latest rescue of the PNP two days ago or yesterday wherein 43 Pogo workers were rescued. They are workers also of this Pogo, sir. Accordingly, again, they are on false labor in that Pogo company. Okay, what about the uh, casino-related uh, crimes? I will give it to the director of AKG, sir, for the specific crimes of AKG or uh, kidnap for ransom in casino-related incidents. Isama nyo na rin yung AKG? You have the floor, uh, director, AKG, please. Sir, magandang tangali po sa atin lahat. For the year 2022, sir, we have only one casino related. And for 2021, sir, zero po tayo kasi we all know, pandemic po yun, sir. And for, siguro, sir, ang ibig sabihin ni Senator Digo, sir, yung traditional kidnap for ransom, sir. Correct, Hindi correct. Traditional correct. AKG, sir. <laughs> meron ba? Meron ba kaso? Yes, sir, meron po tayo, sir. Pero ang kanilito, sir, noong 2021, sir, 
mataas po yung uh, mas mataas po yung traditional kefir po natin. But in 2022, Can, ngayong taon na sir. Excuse me, can you remove your face mask para okay, sir, sir. maklaro yung pan sinasabi mo? Yes sir. For the year 2021 po sir, ang nagdo-dominate po sa kon natin sir, sa record po natin is yung sinasabi po nating traditional kidnap for ransom from January to December. Meron po tayo sir uh, 24. But for this year, sir, ang mga kon po natin, sir, sa statistics po natin, sir, ang pinaka marami talaga, sir, na mga cases natin is yung pogo related, sir. Okay. Mm, ano, what are the challenges faced by the uh, uh, police force to effectively implement the campaign against kidnapping? Yes, sir. Ang unang unang, lalo po dito sa pogo related po natin, sir, as we all know, mga Chinese po, sir, Nagkakaroon po Chinese kami ng... nationals. Karamihan yes, sir. Uh, Chinese nationals, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nagkakaroon po kami sa investigation part, sir. Nagkakaroon po kami ng problema sa concert, sa language. Mm -hmm. Ba't hindi kayo kumuha ng interpreter? Kumuha rin po kami, sir. Pero kuminsan, sir, iba-iba po, sir, yung sa Chinese, sir. May, may tawag, Pukien, may Mandarin. Kuminsan, sir, nakukuha namin. May Mandarin, Pukien. Yes, sir. Pero so, na, ano, sir, na remedyo naman, sir. Anong, anong ginagawa ng uh, police force para masawata itong mga masamanggawaan itong mga Chinese nationals? Unang-una, sir, di ba, mga kwan po tayo, sir, na kwan po tayo na marami pong unreported. So meron hmm. po kami section doon, sir, sa AKJ, yung Information, Education, and Liaisoning Division. Yun po, sir, ang lumalabas sa mga kwan po natin, sir, sa komunidad po natin, Karon po kuminsan sir sa mga casino natin na nagkakandak po ng education na ang crime should be reported to the AKG. Si ito po yung mga number na pagreportan. Yan po sir ang nagagawa ng namin. Kaya nga ang kwan namin sir ngayon once na yung crime na reported is si sigurado'y namin na maaksyunan at pag, kung kwan naman po sir yung mag-report, ini-encourage namin na pag hindi na aksyunan po ng AKG, iparating din po sir sa pamunaan ng PNP. Okay, marami salamat. Kasi ang nangyayari, uh, Colonel, sa mga politiko sila nagre-report eh, nagsusumbong. Hindi sa, dapat sa inyo, sa police force. Dapat maibalik nyo yung kumpiyansa ng taong bayan sa ating kapulisan. Dahil uh, malaking bagay yan para uh, maibalik yung uh, kumpiyansa ng uh, taong bayan sa ating kapulisan. Yun lang po, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Thank Senator uh, Jinko Estrada. Andiyan ka na lang, uh, Colonel Castil. Uh, please, yung sabi mo, ilan yung pogo-related natin? 15 incidents po tayo ngayong taon na tayo. 15? Opo, sir. Yung 15 na yun, sino-sinong involved? Anong pogo company ang involved sa abductions? Anong Pogo Company ang biktima, kaninong tao yung uh, kidnap, dapat ma-identify natin. Meron ka? Ibibigay ko po sa inyo ito, sir. You, 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 you read it uh, so that it can be placed on records. Yes, sir. Sir, for, uh, for this year, 2022, meron po tayo ito, yung bali tatlong company po, sir. Yes. Una po, sir, yung LY Group Admin Pogo Company, located in Southwoods, Industrial Park, Block 1, Lot 1, Barangay, Mabuhay, Carmona, Cavite. Once po namin ito, sir, nahulihan. Sa isang beses na panghuli, lima po, sir, ang biktim na nakuha namin. Lima? Yes, sir. Ang pangalawa po, sir, yung Xionwe Technology Company, Limited Incorporated, which located in Molino Road, Bacor, Cavite. Five times po namin nahulihan, five din, sir, ang biktim. So, isang huli, isang biktim, sir. Five times? Yes, sir. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Rescued ninyo? Yes, sir. Anong ginawa doon sa mga tao na yun? Sa tao na yun? Kinidnap o ano? Yes, sir. Na, ang nangyayari kasi dito, sir, katulad ng explanation ni sir kanina, sir, yung poker related, sir, nangyayari po yan na, kasi nangyayari ngayon, sir, parang may shortage po, sir, ng tao. Kasi balita po natin, sir, nag, nagsara po yung mainland China. So ngayon, sir, yung mga pogo ko yan, nagpapairitan po ng, ng tao. Yung isa, sir, alimbawa yung ako, sir, may pogo kampanya ko, 
Ang offer ko is halimbawa sir, eh, 20,000 monthly. Yung kabila sir, mag-offer naman yun ng mas malaki. So yung tendency ng empleyado sir, lilipat doon. Once na natunogan po sir na lilipat, i-hold na po nila sir, and then they will demand ng palit ng mga ginasto sila sa family niya sa China. Isa yun po sir sa example. Kaya nagkakaroon po tayo ng cases na related sa Pogo. Yung isa naman po sir, meron siyang magre-recruit po sa kaibang bansa, papangakuan, gagastusan ng mga gagastusan, papangakuan ng magandang sitwasyon dito sir. Pagdating dito sir, hindi naman po nila itinutuloy. Kaya may tendency naman po sir na aalis yun o hanap ng kontak para mahanap ng kontak sa para makakuha sa Philippine National Police particularly sa AKG. Doon po sir nagre-react ang AKG. Sige, uh, ano pa? Ano pang Pogo company diyan? Sir, pangatlo, yung Lucky South 99 Outsourcing Incorporated located sa Royal Thai Court Garden, Pulong Maba, Santa Cruz, Porak, Pampanga. Ang nandito po ngayon sir, once lang sir, tapos isa ang victim na nakuha. Pero kahapon sir, Nakakuha kami dito, sir, ng mga 43 plus po yung nag-complain, sir, na 44 yung uh, dinulog po, sir, ng PCCI. The same company? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, ano pa? Meron din kami, sir, dito. Kaya lang, yung kan, sir, hindi namin matukoy kung anong kumpanya kasi yung mga nakukuha namin na kan, sir, hindi naman sila magsasabi, sir. Kasi ito, sir, itong mga unknown namin, yung iba, sir, na, na may nagtimbre na may kan, na intercept na namin sa airport, They will be delivered sa mga unknown Pogo company. Yung iba sir, kinuhold muna sir, naghihintay ng buyer. Kaya hindi po namin na-establish kung anong company po sir. So far sir, itong pinakamalaki sa atin sir, na nakuhanan itong Lucky South 99 Outsourcing Incorporated nandito sa Michael sir, Santa Cruz, Porak, Pampanga. So, so far, ilan yung na-identify nyo na company na involved sa kidnapping? Tatlo po sir. Tatlo? Yes, sir. Nagtanong na nyo, pag-call kung are these uh, Pogo operating under uh, uh, legitimate license? Pag-call? Mr. Chair, out of the names uh, mentioned po, we identify two Pogo licenses, uh, Sean Wei po and Lucky South, Mr. Chair. Puro yan sila license? They are licensed Pogo operators, Mr. Chair. So, yung tatlo na sinabi niya, isa doon, hindi license? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ano yung hindi license? Uh, LY, Mr. Chair, if huh? I re if I recall po correctly, the LY company. Yes po. Uh, LY company is not a licensee of Pagor, Mr. Chair. Okay. Let's make things clear. Involved sila sa kidnapping? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, anong gagawin nyo ngayon sa kanilang license? Uh, we will um, enact the necessary actions, Mr. Chair, to include the cancellation of their licenses, Mr. Cancellation Chair. Cancellation of the license? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yung walang license, baka mamaya kinabukasan may license na yan. Kung magpaloop yan doon sa inyo, ah, bantayan ninyo. Baka mamaya, ngayon, at, as we speak uh, right now, baka may representative na yan, nandun ngayon sa pagkor na nagpapaloop ng lisensya nila para maging legal. Bantayan ninyo yan, ha? Yes, Mr. Chair. We will monitor it po. So, pag matanggal na yung kanilang license, immigration, what shall we do? Uh, Mr. Chair, pag natanggal po yung license, uh, pag na-furnishan po kami ng, ano, ng uh, materials and documents from the PAGCOR, we might as well recommend the revocation and cancellation of all the visas employed by that. Hindi, uh, huwag na kayo maghintay na magpunta uh, pang PAGCOR sa inyo. Uh, follow up everything. Kasi this involves uh, your turf. This involves uh, immigration. So, they are all, as we speak, un undesirable aliens in this country. Ano ba yung foreigner ba yung may-ari niyan? Yung mga foreigner yung kampanya niyan? Uh, Pagkor, are they Filipinos? Filipino-Chinese? Or uh, uh, mainland Chinese? Or uh, pure Chinese? Whatever. How do you classify them, the owners? Mr. Chair, for Lucky South, it's a local company po, uh, as well as with Sean Wei. These are local companies po. When you say local, the owners are Filipinos? Yes, Mr. Chair. Filipinos, ha? Huh? Yes, Mr. Chair. So you know what to do? Yes, Mr. Chair. Huh?
ano hindi natin pabayaan itong mga tao na ito na isipin mo, Pilipino sila, papayag sila na gagamitin yung kanilang lisensya para dumisan ang karangalan ng ating bansa ng mga ginagawang kriminalidad, kriminalidad ng mga foreigners. Eh ano ba yan siya? Ano yan? Ano bang offense niya sa atin? You're offering yourself to be used by the foreigners para gumawa ng krimen dito sa ating bansa. Anong klaseng Pilipino sila? Ha? Anong klaseng Pilipino? Pumayag silang ganun. So they themselves are uh, liable for what this uh, uh, foreigners man o tauhan nila na ginagawa under the name of their company. So they should, they should, they should suffer, they should uh, experience the full extent of the law. Yes, Mr. Chair. M Mr. Chair, if I may be allowed to share yes. uh, on the interagency coordination meeting which um, happened po yesterday. So it was an interagency coordination meeting, Mr. Chair. Um, the attendees were, of course, our Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Al Tenko, our President and Chief Operating Officer, Attorney Jun Sanyosa. Uh, it was also attended by the Secretary of Justice, Secretary Rimulia, Secretary of Interior and Local Government, Secretary Abalos. Um, the Chief of the Philippine National Police was also there, um, Chief Azurin, Mr. Chair. Um, the NBI Director, um, Attorney Delemos. Um, these agencies, sir, um, committed their intensified, coordinated efforts, Mr. Chair, uh, against illegal online um, gaming operations. Um, they committed po for an intensified exchange of information so we may be able to resolve these illegal activities, Mr. Chair. And this um, meeting, Mr. Chair, was likewise attended by uh, almost 90% of the representatives of our POGO licensees and their accredited service providers, uh, and they were directed to police their ranks, Mr. Chair. And if ever they may be found to be involved in these illegal activities, uh, certain measures will also be implemented against them, Mr. Chair. Including yung tatlong kumpanya na yun, nandun sa meeting nyo, or yung dalawa na mayroong na lisensya kasama doon? Nandoon sila sa meeting na yun? The representative of Sean Wei was there, Mr. Chair. Nandoon? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sabihin mo, hindi nyo, pin, pin nandoon kayo? Nandoon nandoon daw si Pin-Pin? Si was there, sir. Oh. Kaya well, hindi nyo tinanong na ikaw, na kailang rescue operations na kami sa kumpanya mo, na mga kinidnap ninyo, tapos ngayon, nandito ka, pakumit-kumit ka ng tangina. Sorry, sorry. Uh, please delete. Delete that uh, word. Andito ka. Pag-commit-commit ka. Tapos ilang bisis na kami naka-rescue din sa kumpanya ninyo ng kidnap victims. Ha? Ganun tayo maglukuhan, harap-harapan? Please. I am asking you, Commission on uh, yung Commissioner ng uh, Immigration. Please do your job. Gawin ninyo yun. Pag-core. Kung anong dapat gawin natin? Huwag natin pabayaan na masyado natin inabuso nito mga foreigner na ito. Hindi yan. If you love your country, dapat may dignity tayo na ipakita na if you do this in our country, you will suffer. You cannot just do that in this country. Ha? Kayo mga foreigner, kayo mga na. Sabihan niyo. So anong dapat, what do we expect from you? Pagkor, you are, alam mo, <clears throat> pagkor, di ba? Suki na tayo palagi. Ha? Yes, Suki na tayo sa sabong, missing sa bungiros. Ilang bisis natin na kasamaan ng loob. Dahil kami dito sa Senado, gustong gusto namin pahinto na talaga yung isabong. Kayo naman, hindi nyo pinapahinto. Whatever reason, you know, kami na sumama ang loob namin. And finally, nung na nagreen kami, dahil si President Duterte nag-decide na ipahinto ang isabong. So, at least, we were correct in our uh, desire. So, ngayon naman sana, pagdating dito sa <clears throat> itong uh, itong uh, kaso na ito ng mga ng Pogo, although sabihin mo, hindi naman Pilipino ang ang uh, 
Ang clientele niyan, sir, ang mga cliente niya, mga taga abroad man, mga taga China man, hindi may nakakapikto sa moralidad ng ating mga kabataan, ng ating Pilipino. But, they are wreaking havoc as far as crimes are concerned dito sa ating bansa. Harap-harapan in broad daylight. Ginagawa nila yan. So you are the regulating agency. Please do not wait for us from the city to tell you what to do. You should do immediately the right thing to do. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yung comment ko na yun goes also with immigration. Immigration! Ha? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. We will... Uh, Wait, thank you! Kaya maghintay. PNP! Yung record ninyo. Pagkor, ha? At saka sa kwan. Bigay nyo. Para palayasin na yung mga tao niyan dito. They are undesirable na aliens. Uh, wreaking havoc in our country. Pauwiin na yan. Kung wala silang kaso, nakakaharap eh. Pero I know, may kaso sila dahil ilang cases of kidnapping yung uh, ginawa nila. So, mananagot sila dapat. Bilisan ninyo ang pagpahil ang kaso. DOJ. Sino ang representative ng DOJ dito? Attorney, Ulysses yes, uh, Aguila. Yes, sir. Can we get your commitment na tulungan ninyo ito sila? Bilisan ninyo para ma-facilitate yung prosecution ng kaso nila? Uh, good afternoon, um, um, Yes, right. Uh, the DOJ is always vigilant in prosecuting the cases, whatever it is. Uh, so, we are committed, Mr. Chair. Salamat, sir. Salamat po. Uh, Madam Mamaymi, you, you want to say something? Uh, Uh, <clears throat> balik lang muna ako doon sa yung sinabi ni Sir uh, Boy Bangilista kanina. Uh, Sir, uh, alam mo, I respect your opinion. I respect your frustration. Pariho tayo na frustration. Uh, but then again, I just would like to give you the assurance na yung PNP, hindi po yan nagmamanufacture ng data. Believe me. Ako, sabihin ko sa inyo, itong mga tao na ito, hindi nila isusugal yung kanilang karir para lang magmanufacture ng data na palabasin na going down ang krimen palagi, going down. At if you have observed, may time rin na tataas naman yung, yung uh, crime statistics ng PNP. But believe me, never yan sila gagawa ng uh, manufacture data na sabihin na to make them affair uh, handsome, to make them affair pugi, na bumababa ang krimen na ginagawa nila, dinodoktor lang data. Wala na po yan sa kultura ng PNP, sir. I can give you the assurance kahit hindi na ako ang PNP ngayon. I can give you the assurance na hindi talaga yan sila magdodoktor ng data because that is their bread and butter. Hindi po nila pwedeng uh, ibibinta yung kanilang pagkapulis para lang sa mere data na yan na uh, uh, dodoktorin nila. Uh, do you agree with me, General Malayo? Really agree, sir. Kayo, mga polis, you raise your right hand if you agree with what I said. Oh, agree sila lahat, sir. <laughs> but then again, I'm not blaming you, sir. I'm not blaming you, sir. Ha? Alam ko frustration mo, lalo na yung ginawa nila sa anak mo. Talagang uh, kahindik-hindik yun. And, uh, alam mo na, how I feel. Pero frustrated ka, pero gusto ko lang. I just would like to give you the assurance na the pain pig doesn't really doctor its uh, data. Uh, kahit nawala na ako sa PNP naniniwala pa ako sa integridad ng mga tao na ito uh, kahit na hindi sila tini, walang nagsusupervise sa kanila pero I know pagdating sa data never ito sila mang doktor dahil there are always ways of uh, correct, uh, validating all this data di ba? so yun lang yun lang sa akin sir paparating ko lang sa iyo thank you sir thank you uh, can I hear uh, from Si kanina pa ito si Ma'am, si Mr. Cecilio Pedro, sir, uh, please. Yes, uh, uh, thank you uh, to the Honorable Chairman of uh, this uh, committee, Senator uh, Bato de la Rosa, and to our distinguished uh, Senator uh, Amy Marcos for giving us the opportunity to uh, 
we participate in this very important issue, which is peace and order in our country. I just have a suggestion. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the police department. They, they have been very, very cooperative. Uh, together with the AKG, uh, see the NCRPO, and the CPMP, and the MBI, <clears throat> even the immigration, uh, we have close coordination uh, to address uh, certain issues faced by the Filipino Chinese in the community. Kami po naniniwala na if you report, uh, nag-report tayo sa police, eh na-address kagat. Hindi yung, uh, hindi totoo po yung uh, sila ay sitting down uh, on their jobs. No, they, they do uh, everything to address those concerns. And uh, I, I personally experienced and I felt uh, the police uh, should be commended on this. I just have a simple uh, suggestion because this is involving uh, Chinese from uh, China, mainland China. Uh, in Cambodia, I heard that the government uh, of Cambodia coordinated with the government of China. Alam niyo po yung... Uh, Yung AI ng China is so sophisticated that they can track every single citizen of China. That's 1.4 billion. Kasi yung computer nila napakagaling eh. And they have all the data available. And this is probably one area where we can access. Since these are criminals, we want to get hold of these criminals. Why don't we go and talk to China? and ask them if they can help us or assist, or we can do a joint effort to address this concern. Uh, kailangan natin yung data nila. Alam nila lahat yan. Yung lumalabas sa China, most of them, Pogo, are illegal. They are not supposed to work in the Philippines. Dahil po yung mga Pogo, puro mga mainland Chinese ang uh, customer nila. Ang uh, ginagamit nila, uh, Chinese. Kaya yung local Chinese, marami, hindi makakapagtrabaho dyan sa Pogo kasi they don't know Chinese. And they use lang, they use terminologies that is common only in China. So unless you're from China, may hirapan kang gumamit yan. And then, uh, so if this parang isabong, nakakasira ng uh, society, nakakasira ng community, nakakasira ng pamilya, it's the 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 small gambling yan eh. Uh, ang tawag niyan, tingi-tingi, sari-sari o sari-sari store. Kaya, galit din ang Chinese government on the Pogo. Galit. But uh, since they are legitimate, uh, granted uh, the permission by uh, PACCOR, I have nothing to say about that. Ano? But I am sure we want to make sure that all of them who are working here should be legitimate. Pag hindi legitimate, hanapin natin sila from, ano, from uh, the Chinese government. Let's talk to the Chinese government, invite the personnel from the embassy or whoever is, I'm sure may, 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 ano tawag niya, Napol, hindi Pol, Interpol, Interpol. We can coordinate with the Interpol from China and to see to it that all these informations will be available if needed. Eh, may, magaling ang police natin eh, pero they face blank wall eh. Especially Chinese name. Saan nga maghahanap ng Chinese information here in the Philippines? Wala. So napakahirap po ang trabaho ng mga uh, uh, police personnel dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil you cannot address this unless we get the help. And they have pictures, they have completo. I know the Chinese are very good. That's why peace and order in China is very good. Walang kidnapping sa China. Lumabas ka ng umaga sa umaga. <laughs> sa 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, nobody Touch you. Kasi lahat ng corner ng states may camera. Noted. They track you. Including tourists like us. When we go there, they track you. So, why don't we work, work with them? And if we found any evidence, paalisin na natin sila. Don't wait. Kasi aabutin ah, natin ng justice system. I, I have nothing to complain about the justice system. But it takes time. And you need witness to... <clears throat> to come out and testify. And marami sila natatrakot and they speak Chinese, which most of us cannot understand. So we're facing a blank wall. Eh. So we have to coordinate and work with the Chinese government to address this issue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Cecilio Pedro, for that uh, very, very valuable uh, input. So take note, uh, PNP, uh, I'm sure you have direct lines with the Chinese uh, Ministry of Public Safety. When I was the chief PNP, I was always talking with them. Nagko-coordinate kami. Kaya, you, you solicit their uh, help. 
Minister of Public Service ng China, uh, madali lang yung kausapin pag gusto, yung, gusto lang tumulong. Yes, sir. Okay? It's under our Directorate for Intelligence, sir. So Thank you. Uh, can I uh, yield the floor to Mr. Kakwin Chua, the Chairman of Movement for the Restoration of Peace and Order? Sir, uh, you have the floor. Uh, magandang hapon po, Mr. Chairman and Honorable Senators. Uh, we in Movement for Restoration, Peace and Order established since 1993 by founder Teresita Angsi. Uh, mula noon, kami ay nakipagtulungan sa PAOTF from PACER to AKG para isug po itong kidnapping na menes. Uh, base sa ating uh, katabing organisasyon sa PCCI, PCCCII, uh, their death is 56 cases in 10 days. But for the AKG, I think they have a start to, uh, data of 29 cases since January. Uh, for our group, Movement for Restoration, Peace and Order, we have a record of 37. Uh, we base our data on, of course, the AKG data plus the mainstream information and also for those who seek our help. Uh, marami po kasi mga victims na lumalapit po sa amin. So tumutulong po ang grupo namin not only for the Chinese community or Filipino Chinese, but also we have members from Pakistan, from Japan, from America. So uh, lahat, basta pag humingi ng tulong, tumutulong po kami. Uh, we just like to highlight and we need to differentiate between kidnapping illegal detention, and human trafficking. Kasi kung isa, pag na, there's a thin line of definition among the three. Uh, kidnappings and rumors of kidnapping create an atmosphere of fear and anxiety that has far-reaching effects. It does not only instill anxiety and fear within the community, but it also erodes the confidence of the people uh, within the community. Uh, Ako po ay part din ng AKG Advisory Council. Uh, during the leadership of General Estomo, kami ay nagkaroon ng summit. Uh, we come up with 34 recommendations, but i just like to highlight 8 recommendations only out of the 34. Uh, one of them is craft policies law to tighten our immigration law in entering the Philippines. Number two, craft policies laws to tighten the insurance of work permit to foreign nationals projected to work in casinos and pogo here in the Philippines. Another one is foreign national involved in feign hoax kidnapping and other offenses be declared as undesirable aliens deported immediately to the countries of origin and bar from entering the Philippines. Another one is Amendment of Data Privacy Act uh, in relation with the acquisition of CCTV footage, photos, guest profile, hotel booking, records, and other documents, which is essential in the investigation of kidnapping or abduction cases in Casino and Pogo. Another is create a provision providing the AKG database of all POGO based in the Philippines to include their employees in the attainment of security protocol and access to the aforementioned. Next is craft policy or law to uncooperative victims of kidnapping and other related laws that who are desisting to the complaints to be penalized, deported back to his country at the instance of their own embassy. Another is amend automatic visa upon arrival policy of the government since we have canceled that already. And the last one I would like to add is crafting of mandatory SIM card registration act. Uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Pa. Maraming salamat, Mr. Kakuin Chua. Alam mo, yung lahat na recommendations mo, Eh, talagang sapul na sapul yun. Kailangan talaga noted. Secretariat, uh, we are noting this uh, recommendation. Sapul na sapul po talaga yun. And in fact, meron na kami mga 
na unang mga bills na na-file pertaining to that, like the SIM card registration bill. Pangalawang uh, uh, Congress na ito na-file namin. Then yung uh, CCTV, uh, very important talaga yun. And uh, we thank you. We appreciate your uh, contribution. Pakiregards mo kami kay Ma'am uh, T.C. Ang C. Is she okay pa? Okay siya? She's okay. Medyo tight lang schedule ni Ma'am. Uh, Pakiregards mo kami sa kanya. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat. So, from here, I would, we would like to listen to NBI. NBI, uh, you want to share something about uh, this uh, incident? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, good afternoon, Honorable uh, Your Honors. Uh, please, please state your circum uh, personal circumstances. Uh, I'm attorney up. I'm the officer in charge of the Office of the Deputy Director for Operations. I was newly assigned to this uh, position. And uh, it was raised earlier yung uh, an identified Chinese-looking uh, individual who was dumped in Kawit Kabiti. Uh, I think ang problema, the same problem with the PNP, hindi rin ho namin ma-identify. And we are working to, uh, closely with the PNP, hindi rin po namin ma-identify. Siguro if we can propose, uh, probably through the PAGCOR, to require these uh, POGO employees to secure NBI clearance so that we can capture the biometrics. And uh, kung mangyari itong incident in the future, we can easily identify the, uh, uh, the individual through matching of their fingerprints with our fingerprint verification or identification system, Your Honor. Thank you, Attorney. Alam mo, you are in the same uh, predicament to the PNP. They lack the data. So, Kailangan talaga, BI, you share with them your uh, data para meron sa may bangga, meron sa may mamats doon sa nakukuha nila sa crime scene. And uh, I hope, uh, bilisan nyo ha. Alam ko, voluminous data ito. Ilang gigabytes ang kailangan nito. But alam ko, capable ang PNP, capable ang BI to receive those uh, data. Ha? Uh, I just would like to refer this to the PNP. No? This committee is in receipt of this, uh, through our email, uh, itong mga complaints, uh, requesting an investigation on kidnapping, killing, prostitution, and spreading of AIDS, pati AIDS, and other crimes of Pogo. Uh, and dito yun, ang, ang papangit ng mga, ang pictures dito, mga, mga malalaswa. Uh, Secretariat, please uh, share share this uh, information to the PNP, particularly the ADM, para uh, gawan nyo ito ng uh, kaukulang investigasyon. Yan ito. So, sino po bang hindi natin napag napagsalita? Ma'am ma Miramil Laksa from uh, this WD. You want to say something, ma'am? Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, Honorable Chair, and of course, our Honorable uh, Members of the Committee. On the part of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, Mr. Chair, uh, we are and we are. Uh, we will always be ready to provide the support that is needed by those victims of uh, these uh, crimes, uh, particularly in the provision of psychosocial support to the victims themselves and, of course, their families. In fact, Your Honor, uh, if you would recall, you also uh, endorsed to us the cases of those missing sabungeros. Uh, and uh, we were able to endorse that to our concerned field offices, particularly in Region 4, Calabarzon, and in Region 3. And uh, they are now looking into the members of these families. And um, they have been provided the psychosocial intervention as well as the other assistance needed as assessed by our social workers, Your Honor. Thank you po ma'am. Uh, nabanggit mo na yung uh, missing sabungeros uh, for the for public's consumption. No? I just would like to uh, make it known to everyone that although this committee already uh, terminated its investigation on the missing uh, 34 sabungeros, uh, the PNP and NBI uh, do not stop their uh, investigation. Alam ko ang PNP, meron kayong update and uh, nag-update sa akin si Director ng uh, Investigation and Detective Management. So, para doon po sa mga mga pamilya ng uh, 
missing sa Bungiros, please uh, don't lose hope. Sige pa ang imbestiga ng ating uh, PNP. Hindi po kayo kinakalimutan. Nabisi lang kami ngayon dito sa daming uh, inimbestigahan itong committee natin. Uh, hindi po kayo pinapabayaan. Continuous po. Uh, General Malayo, uh, please uh, follow up with the IDM. Meron silang update, alam ko. Yes, sir. Thank you. Again, Mama, Ms. Pineda of Dole. Ms. Pineda of Dole, you have the floor. Magandang hapon po, Mr. Chair. On the part of the Department of Labor and Employment, we will always be ready po to, to assist you in any information regarding foreign nationals who are actually working in the country, especially those that have uh, who had been issued uh, AEP po. Uh, yung mga, meron pong, uh, we, all, we also support po yung inyong uh, campaign for uh, ano po ng illegal uh, activities in the country. Kaya lang po, kung magre-request po sana tayo, we could include some more information because uh, marami na po kaming nare-receive na letters from uh, other government ag uh, agencies verifying information on foreign nationals. However, may mga namesakes po kasi ang mga Chinese. May mga nagdodobli-dobli pong pangalan. So, we, uh, yung uh, hindi po magiging conclusive kung sila man po ay nasa aming database, it would not be conclusive kung sila nga po yun kasi meron pong mga uh, insufficient po yung data in information. Just to uh, provide lang po yung ating uh, committee, we have issued a total of 40,052 for 2022 ng AEP sa foreign nationals and 13,751 po dito ay nagkakaroon po, po sa Pogo. Yung working visas na in-issue ninyo, kasama yung Pogo dyan? Uh, Kayo sir, nagbibigay? hindi po kami ang negation ng working visa. It's the Bureau of Immigration po. Uh, work permits po ito. Sorry, sorry. Working visa. Working permit. Yes, working po. permit from the Department of Labor and Employment. Meron ba kayong... Yes po. Nag-issue kayo? Opo. Sa mga Pogo workers? Yes po. So may database kayo nito? Yes po. O di, PNP, another source of uh, data is Dole. Yes po. Ma'am, can you provide the PNP with the data that you have? Sir, siguro po the best thing to do is uh, we would include po ang PNP sa aming interagency uh, task force on the employment of foreign nationals. So every time po mag-meet ang, ang member agencies, which uh, includes uh, immigration, uh, DFA, uh, PRC, Department of Justice, Bureau of Immigration, DNR, DOJ, pwede po silang uh, uh, sumama po sa mga meetings with regard to issuances po ng lahat ng agencies na nabanggit ko ng uh, authorities, visas, and permits. And just to inform lang po the committee also, ang end user po ng ating mga de ng ating pong mga na 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 kokolat na data ng foreign nationals na ini-issue po ng mga government agencies ay ang national uh, national intelligence coordinating agency po. We provide the NICA uh, yung listings po ng mga foreign nationals including statistics and other uh, uh, analysis po ng aming mga reports. So ayun. Thank you ma'am. Maraming salamat po. Please uh, cooperate with the uh, with them. Okay. Kawawa, kawawa yung ating kapulisan. We have to employ whole of government approach. Magtutulungan na po tayo dito para Sige, sa wata ito. Uh, we will invite na lang po yung PNP dun sa, ano po, sa interagency okay. task force. Po. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you have the floor, Senator Aimee. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. I just wanted to ask, uh, uh, konting hirit lang sa DSWD, uh, I encountered the uh, bereaved families of the 34 missing Isabong victims in Tanay Rizal. They claim that the SWD has not extended any assistance to them. Is that the case? Um, Mr. Chair and um, Honorable Senator, we will have to check with our regional office in Calabarzon because we are we have yet to receive their updates po with regard to these cases of uh, 34. Kasi sila yung uh, main breadwinner in most cases, so it's important that something's done about the families. In the meantime, let me proceed to wrap up what uh, I hear this morning. And uh, unang una, there seems to be a real uh, failure of the whole of government approach that we've been invoking from the very start. I think uh, this is the time 
to uh, truly uh, exercise that option and be innovative and creative since we do not appear to have as yet a central database, not even one for our own nationals in the uh, national ID system. And being that investigations in the Senate are not prosecutorial, but in fact in aid of legislation, let us uh, put in place a uh, real um, whole of government tapping all those with lists of foreign nationals primarily and sharing them with our law enforcers once and for all. Clearly, DOLE has work permit listings. Clearly, all the IPA, the uh, investment promotions agencies, including PESA, Clark, Subic, um, the BOI under the DTI, they compel all of their investors to produce this list. We also know that um, the uh, BID uh, needs to provide this list as well. Even the Philippine Retirement Authority has been exploited. I was telling our good chairman that going over the list of retirees in the Philippines, there were uh, foreigners as young as 35 years old claiming to retire in the Philippines with a mere 50,000 US dollars. This is clearly a farce. All of this information must be shared with the PNP once and for all. And I'm very pleased also to see uh, the Philippine uh, Chinese community with us this morning. Kayo lang nagkakaintindihan, kayo lang makakapagsabi sa amin kung ano nangyayari. At uh, kayo lang ang makakapag-recommend kung ano ang pinakamagandang gawin. I would also uh, like to um, make a simple uh, plea to our PNP to work closely with our LGUs with regard to the rape cases involving schoolgirls and very young females. And this has to do with what the uh, PNP uh, chief has said, that he knows where these rapes, where these uh, uh, sexual crimes occur. And it is true, the bulk of them are in NCR. They largely involve alcohol or sometimes even drugs. They also occur during the crime calendar we're all familiar with, yung uh, panahon ng sahod, kapag may pista, kapag may concert, or some other public occasion. So, siguro, makipag na tayo sa ating mga LGU kung lalagyan ng curfew itong alcohol uh, sales and purchases. Lagyan siguro ng hinto dyan, dun sa mga lugar at uh, mga dating um, laganap ang paggagahasa para hindi na po ito maulit. Finally, may I make a plea to all of you in the PNP and the rest to contact your international counterparts. We've already made mention of uh, the PRC's Ministry of Public Safety who became very close to us during uh, the time of President Duterte and the war against drugs. We can do the same with the Hong Kong police who have helped us so much in Northern Luzon in its coastal zones, also with the Taiwanese. And I think it is important that we reach out to the ASEAN Security Network. Uh, Paulit-ulit ang banggit natin, Cambodian National, Malaysian National, Burmese National. At pabalik-balik, patakbo-takbo lang ang mga pogo at sindikato dyan sa Cambodia at sa Pilipinas. Humiikot lang sila, eh talagang pinaiikutan tayong lahat. Maigi siguro, kaibiganin na natin ang ating mga kapitbahay, total dyan rin mauuwi. Hindi ko alam kung... Uh, Napanood ninyo sa Netflix yung uh, nakakagitla na palabas uh, two-part series called The Big Boss with uh, Paul Leroux, the uh, notorious syndicated crime criminal, um, operating in open uh, view um, in a largely unfurnished penthouse in Makati or a series of them at uh, complete and utter impunity. Wag naman tayo maging uh, big boss Chinese edition. Yun lang po ang hinihingi natin. At uh, tama po si Mr. Pedro, yung AI, lahat ng uh, high-tech, na pang monitor at surveillance nasa PRC. So magtulungan tayo kasama ng ating mga kapitbahay sa Asia.
Thank you, Ma'am Amy, for that wrap-up. But before we go, makakala ni General Leomar Abogan, the Director of Socia, is nakalimutan na siya. Please, uh, take your seat. Sana. Saan ka na? Dito ka. We have, we have a lot of questions sa'yo. Upo ka dito. Uh, Kumsek, please uh, administer the oath. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one uh, regulating these uh, security agencies, security guards, and the uh, 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 protective agents. Please uh, take your seat. Uh, you advise the doubt, Commissioner. Sir, kindly stand up and please raise your right hand. Do you serve to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this hearing and investigation, sir? Thank you, sir. Please take seat. Una, uh, General uh, Abugan, how do you regulate these uh, protective agents? Lalong-lalo na itong uh, naggagwardya sa mga, mga Chinese nationals na involved sa Pogo. Uh, nakita natin sa video, dalawang instances yun. Yung barilan doon, nakatisert pa siya ng protective agent. Tapos yung, uh, ano pa yung isang instance na may protective agent? Yung... Uh, Skyway. Uh, basta, may involve ng mga protective agents at sa personal experience ng mga senador. Nakikita nila dyan sa Entertainment City. Yung mga, hindi, hindi pupunta senador doon para magsugal. Ha? Pupunta doon para mag-lunch, mag-dinner, may mga meeting, but uh, may nakikita na nakadeploy na protective agents. How do you regulate all these people? Well, apparently, they are being used by their uh, Chinese bosses, um, anong klaseng boss nila ito, as uh, their uh, private army. Nakita nyo, yung pangunang bumaril doon sa video, doon sa Paranaque, yung civilian na uh, naka-protective agent ko, no? Please, uh, respond to this. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairman, sir. Tanggalin mo muna ang kwano. Sir, uh, first... Uh... First of all, sir, all these uh, protection agents should have valid uh, license to exercise security profession for, sec for, for, uh, pro uh, for uh, protection agents, sir. So, mayroon silang LESP na valid. Secondly, they should be employed by uh, private detective agency with valid license to operate, sir. Yung baril nila? Sir, yung baril nila is a... Firearm owned by the agency, sir. So, meron silang detail, uh, detail order? Meron po silang uh, special de uh, detail order, sir. Pwede pala yun? Sir, Mr. Chairman, tanong ko lang. Huh? Jen? Yes? Pero bakit high-powered, parang assault rifle yung kanila, ano? may ibang dala doon? Dapat hindi ba, sa, ang pagkakalap ko, security guards, shotgun lang at uh, revolver o kaya pistol. Sir, wala Ito, pong, uh, wala pong uh, high power firearm. High power, na, di, parang nakasabit. Naka-issue sa... Hindi, pero yung nakita sa video, parang nakasabit eh. Parang assault rifle yun eh. Hindi ba? Para masin pistol pa nga yung isa na naka-ganun sa bag eh. But uh, just before you answer that, ah, General Estomo, ay sino yung nag-present kayo na sa Paranaque incident na nagsabi na protective agent doon ang na-identify? Sino ba yun? Ikaw ba yung craft o General Stomo? Ikaw. What happened to this uh, protective agent? Sinabihan mo na ba itong bata mo sa susya na tanggalan ng lisensya yon o anong gawin niya? Pareportin niya? O oh, so you have to act fast, ha? Uh, uh, na, na, tagal yung video na yun. Nakita mo ba yun? E, yes, sir. May t-shirt pa dito sa likod na Ah, protective agent na tatak? Ano ang tatak sa likod niya? Yes, sir. Uh, with your respect, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to inform this committee that as of this date, there are only 35 uh, duly authorized protection agents uh, securing 20 protectees, Mr. Chair. Sino yung mga 30 na yan? Mga... Uh, we, we have the list, Mr. Chair. Sigurado kayo, lista nyo. Hindi kasama dyan yung mga... Chinese mafia dyan na kasama sa paggawa ng krimen. Okay, so now our record also, Mr. Chair, wala pa pong uh, na-issue. Tingnan mo, tingnan mo, tingnan mo, tingnan mo, tingnan mo. Yan, no. Yan. 
Mabasa ba natin yung tatak sa likod niya? Yan, EODT. Eh? Tingnan mo, yan naka, oh, pati yung uh, nakaba, yan. Pwede, ba, pwede bang i-enlarge yung tatak niyan? Tatak ng t-shirt niya sa likod, yung kanina lumapit. Yan, yan. Stop. O. Oh. Ikaw mo nga, zoom in nga, ano yung tatak sa likod niya? Hindi ba enlarge? Pero pa yung dito na side. Sige, continue yung yung video na yan. Yung namar unang namaril. Ang Tagalog. Saan ang high-powered? Ano, ano, nakasabit, high-powered rifle yun. Oh. Yung nasa harap pa niya. Oh. Ayan, o. Oh. Ayan, yan. Hawak niya. Eh, pause, pause, pause. Hinaril na. Balik mo. Rewind. Yan, yan. Yan. Sandali. Yung may dalang bag, uh, masin pistol yan or what? Tuloy mo, tuloy, tuloy. Sige. Up to doon sa may bumaril. Kasi yung bumaril, uh, allegedly, protective agent daw yun, Tagalog. Tagalog, Tagalog yung salita. Sige, play. Sige. Yan ha. Sino yung sa harap yung bumaril? Yun, yan. O, tingnan mo. Anong tatak sa likod niya? Na t-shirt, oh. Para may, may seal pa ng, uh, ano yan, security agency. Technical sa so winid Pati PNP anti-cybercrime group. Alam ko kaya ninyong mabasa itong tatak nito. Eh, tsaka yung kanyang, yung uh, badge niya sa shoulder. Tingnan nyo. Ito ba security agency? Kung agency ang tatak na yan, you have to rock. Ano yan? O kung ito ay taga security agency acting as a protect, protection agent, then ha? Mr. Chair, uh, rock. we have... Rock, Jim? Ah, black, black generation for A five. Kanina, Chairman, parang east something eh. Yung parang agency. Yung hindi lang ma-enlarge. Yung nauna. Yan, yan, yan. East. East. Yung hindi lang natin makita yung sa ilalim. But it's east. Yung nasa taas. General, ito mo accounted ba itong mga Pilipino na ito? Ay, yung sino ang ibig sa para niya eh. Yung mga Pilipino na yan, accounted na niyo? Yes, sir. Yung 12 po, sir. Na-identify po natin, sir. Pati yan? Meron yung may dalang masyong pistol? Pilipino? Yes, sir. Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Actually, sir, uh, we recovered in the crime scene ng one Ingram, sir. Ingram? Baka yan na yun? Yes, sir. Pero yung mga Chinese? Sir, yun ang un unidentified pa natin. Anong investigation na ginawa ninyo sa dosi na Pilipino na ito? Kasama nila yun eh. Dapat uh, sila na nagturo sa location nito mga Chinese na ito. Yes. Sir, uh, na-identify lang natin to sir, nung lumabas, sir, yung... Uh, Video, sir. Identified but not yet arrested? Yes, sir. Opo, sir. Hindi pa na-arrest? Hindi pa, sir. Ay, bilisan. Uh, bilisan ninyo kasi kalat na ito. Lumayas na yun. Sir, lumabas lang po yung uh, video nung two weeks ago, sir. Doon lang po natin alaman na may incident report. So, oh. we are also investigating, sir, yung previous ano po, mga investigator, sir, nito, sir. Bilisan ninyo? Yes, sir. Ay, sir. Kasi kung makuha nyo itong mga Pilipino na ito, that will lead to the yes, location of this Chinese. Yes, sir. Yun na po yun, sir. Mga chairman, no? Obviously, isang Chinese national. Meron siyang baril. Yung na, yung na, yung tinamaan. Oh. Easy na possession of a firearm. Kaya nga siya binaril kasi nilabas niya eh. So, mukhang Chinese national. Bakit siya merong firearm? Kaya nga, ang tanong, bakit meron silang armas? Baka kulang na tayo sa pag-regulate itong mga firearms na ito. Bakit napunta na ito sa kanila? Baka... I don't know. Di ba sobrang stricto na yung ating uh, firearms law? Yes, sir. O yan, no? tingnan mo, bunod ng baril law, yung binaril. May, may armas niya. Sa, saan galing yan? Baka sa mga gun store lang din natin yan binili. For all we know, pag nakita natin yan, baka license pa yan sa pangalan ng itong mga Chinese na ito. Please, please, uh, follow this up. Dapat hindi magkakaarmas itong mga banyaga na ito. Tayo nga, Pilipino, hirap na hirap magka purchase ng armas. May hirap tayong magpalisensya ng armas. Grabe requirement ninyo. Tapos, ito mga Chinese national na 
who are not allowed to possess firearms in our territory. Kayang kaya makabili ng baril na branyo. Tinang... That will be included in the investigation of uh, Sosya, sir. And uh, if we, with that possession of firearms, you have to check if he really has the license as well as the LTO. Okay, sige. Salamat kung... Pero hindi naman mukhang paltik yan, no? Kwaman yan. Uh, production pistol yan, eh. Nanimim yan, eh. Sigurado ko hindi yan paltik. Branded yan. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, if I may guess, siguro ano na nasa PNP, dapat maging strict, strict to tayo. Dapat ano in person talaga lahat. Kahit politiko, kahit anong VIP, dapat ma-identify nyo para makita nyo kung mamaya gumamit sila na identity ng dead person, no? Which was confirmed. By the BIT that it is happening that some foreign nationals, in particular to our mainland Chinese, are using the identities of dead persons. Mamaya, nakakuha sila ng government IDs, passport. Mamaya, nag-apply sila. Pero just make sure na merong ano talaga, actual. Huwag kahit na sinong BIP, senador pa yan, kung sino man, congressman, mayor, kailangan magpunta sa inyo before you issue license to possess or carry firearms. Yes, sir. Thank you, Senator GB. Ano, meron ka pa sabihin? Ah. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, with your respect, sir, I would like to assure the Honorable... Uh, Dali, huwag ka na mag-assure, uh, assure dyan. Gawin mo. Yes, sir. 35 na inisyon mo ng permit, pariportin mo sa krami. Yes, sir. Picturean mo ng huso, siguruhin mo na pag kayo ay ma-involve dito, protective agents kayo, you know what to do. Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Uh, very strict talaga, sir, yung issuance ng... Uh, SDD was So most likely ito, hindi ito legitimate yes, na, sir. Uh, na, na protective agents, yes, sir. protection agents. We can assure you also, sir, na wala pong na-issue na license sa foreigners and wala pong sinesecure ng protect, protection agents natin na foreigners, sir. As of this time, sir. So in order to address this issue, kailangan ng SRPO should be proactive sa pagpaninita Yung mga papurma-purmang baligar dyan, akala mo kung sinong legal, papurma-purma, sitahin nyo dito. Huwag yung pabayaan na makapaggawa ng krimen yung mga gago na yan. Di ba? Oo, oh, makita nyo, dami dyan papurma-purmang baligar, akala mo legit. Yun pala, mga illegal pala ito. May mga dalang baril. Tapos kung maka, makaasta, akala mo, authorized. Isar Pio. Okay? Kapitsev. Meron daw uh, suspect na nahuli dito yung barilan na yan na sa hospital ng Pasay tapos pinakawalan. Anong nangyari? Nagpapagamot sa tama ng baril dyan sa insidente na yan. Is this true? Be a general crap. A general crap. Sir, yes. Uh, one suspect, uh, allegedly suspect, sir, uh, involved, sir, sa shooting incident was arrested in a hospital due to gunshot wound, sir. Pero during the filing of case, sir, uh, medyo na ano po yung ating prosecutor na kulang uh, yung ating ebidensya. Wala tayong uh, physical identification na nadun siya sa, sa site na yun, sir. So, it was a nakarepay po, sir, itong kasong ito, sir. What and do you mean by RAPPI? What do you mean by release for further investigation? investigation? Yes, sir. Eh, sir, hindi nyo, hindi nyo dinik-dik na lang ng gusto. Bakit pa rin nyo? Sir, with due respect, sir, it transpired last uh, July pa, sir. Hindi July, pa 22. Hindi pa kami, sir. Ang... Alam ko yung ating handicap dyan pagdating sa arrest at... Uh, Sir, so, pwede yung makasagot, sir? Yes, right. Uh, actually, sir, kaya lumabas yung mga ganyang issue na yan dahil na dito sa mga viral-viral na video na yan, sir. Ngayon, sir, ang ginawa ko, sir, uh, inalam ko lahat yan. Nalaman ko yun nga, so, uh, so, yung supposed to be captured yun. Kaya lang, sir, dinalam mo na, sir, sa hospital. Ang problema nung silang pa ng kaso, 
dahil wala makuha ang mga witnesses, in short, mahina ang, ang ebidensya. Kaya na RFI. Kaya anong ginawa ko dyan, sir, ngayon dyan? Tinanggal ko yung chief of police. Kaya bago ngayon ang chief of police ng Paranaque, sir. At may guidance ako na imbisigan yan. Dahil kung, may, kung makita ko na may lapsis ang aking mga police, tatanggalin ko sila sa servisyo. Yan ang option ko, sir. Jonel Istomo. Pariyo man tayo. Ay, ako, ako, ako ay police probinsya. Hindi ako police Pasay, hindi ko police Paranaque, hindi ako police na siyudad. Police ako ng probinsya. Pero ganun kasimple na kaso, merong wounded do na suspect na nandoon. Ay, forgive me kung marilis ko yun. Talagang didiinan ko yun. I-inquist ko talaga yun. Kausapin ko yung fiscal talaga na i-inquist ito. Dahil ito'y suspect do sa barilan. May namatay doon. Dalawang Chinese. Ay, sus Kailangan pa bang i-memorize yan? Yung uh, pagpapayal ang kaso na yan? No? Bakit na-release yun? So you're right in relieving that chief of police. You should investigate him further. Bakit pa na-release yung... Oh. So, paano yan? Pabalik-balik yung problema natin ngayon. Diyan na yung tao ngayon. General Krap. Akiril Krap. Nasaan na yun? Yung suspect na yun na hospital. Sir, wala po yung tao, sir, kasi noon na-release pa yun, sir, noong July pa, sir. So, with this uh, new development nga po, sir, itong sa CCTV, sir, na na-identified, nakakuha tayo ng dalawang witness, na-identified natin, sir, yung 12 na uh, Pilipinos na involved dito, sir. So, legal na tayo, sir, ngayon. Nagpapal kami ng motion, sir, for uh, re-investigation, sir, or PI, sir, for PI. So, pag nalabas ang question... Ito, meron tayong ganito, ha? Ganito. Ayaw ko kung buhay pa ba yung standard operating procedure natin sa PNP at saka sa hospitals ng ating kinasakupan na kapag mayroong gunshot wound na na-admit na, na sa hospital ninyo, automatic ang security guard ng hospital na tatawag sa police station. Sir, may gunshot wound dito, sir. Pakiimbestigan nito. Baka involve ito sa krimen. Automatic yan. In that case, yung ito siya, hindi tumawag sa Pasay Police yung uh, hospital na dinalhan nung tao na yon, nung suspect? Sir, kaya nga po sir, na-arresto po ito sir, na puntahan sir, dahil nag-report po yung hospital sir. Tapos, kaya nalaman sir. So ulang, with that sir, napailan, pinahil po yung kaso sa fiscal sir. In-inquest ninyo? In-inquest sir. Tapos, ano sabi ng fiscal? Ina-reply sir ng fiscal dahil nga po kulang sir Ay, yung... Naman, uh, ito alam mo ha, ako ha, forgive me for my malicious uh, instincts. Pag hindi mariglo sa pulis, doon sa fiscal arregluin. Pag hindi mariglo sa fiscal, doon sa korte arregluin. Ato, forgive me for my practice, but I am so... Pariho tayo polis. Yung, yung ating frustration sa sitwasyon na ito. Puro na lang arregluhan ito. Y y alam mo, eh, kung gustong diinan, pwede. Ayun nga, sabi, kung mayroong... Kung... Yan... Kung may gusto, may paraan. Sabihan mo yung fiscal na yan. Kung may gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, may dahilan. Comment, any comment from the DOJ, please. Uh, uh, we will look into that, uh, Your Honor. Uh, anong fiscal's office? Uh, Ito ha, pinayal lang PNP daw yung kaso, inquest proceedings. Sabi ng fiscal, kulang tayo ng ebidensya, RFFI, Release for Further Investigation, which is yes. legally, this is legal. Wala tayong question about that. Pero ang akin lang kung sana, pakiusap sa DOJ, yun nga, meron tayong maksim na kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, may dahilan. So sana, yes. doon tayo sa gusto na may paraan. Huwag tayo doon sa ayaw na may dahilan. Yun lang aking pakiusap sa ating mga prosecutor. Hindi ako nagmamagaling dito, hindi ako abogado, pero... I have observed and I have experienced a lot of cases like that during my police days. I have been a, a policeman for 36 years. Alam ko po yung ganyong estilo, pero I am not, hindi ko po kinukundim yung fiscal na yan. Hindi ko kinukundim, pasensya na po. Pero nakiusap lang kami sa inyo. You can just imagine kung in-inquist niya yung kaso na yan. Dinandoon pa yung tao na yan. 
siguro ngayon, tumuga na yan kung sino yung mga Chinese at uh, sa ang location yung mga Chinese makikita yung kanya kasama pagpatay doon sa dalawa. Pero lang sana kasimple. Di ba, Atty. Do, do, do you share the same frustration that I, yes, I, that I, I feel right now? I, I do, sir. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, we will look into the, this case and we will get back to you. Salamat, uh, salamat. Again, I am not putting DOJ in bad light, ha? Gusto ko lang sana makiusap sa inyo. Tulungan natin ito. Kawawa ang pulis, oh. Pahil sila ng kaso, tapos didismiss lang kaagad dahil uh, ganun. Sila ngayon ang masama sa yes. taong bayan. Dahil uh, mahina yung kanilang baka totoo rin na gin, ginawa rin ng investigador ng polis na pinahina ang ebidensya para i-dismiss ng fiskal. Ay, nako. Pero wala tayo nito. Puro tayo kan ba? Frustration. Pero please, please, magkakaisa tayo. So, the government approach ang gagawin natin dito. You have the floor. Wala ko na lang. Short manifestation. I share your frustration. Misa nakakalungkot ha. Ang hirap na trabaho ng polis. You put your lives on the line. Tapos, matitechnical ka, matitismiss yung kaso. Di ba? Nakakalungkot. Um, so, ikaw pang re bakan Balikan ka pa ng uh, arbitrary pa detention. I'm hoping na dito naman natin President ng DOJ. May term kami dyan eh. Kasi si Secboy Ribulla, kasama sa radio program. This happens in government. No? Hindi lang in different agencies. Sabi, ang tawag namin dyan, may pampatalino. Alam nyo na, mag may, may yung pampadulas para gawin yung gusto. Ang mas mahal, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chairman, yung pampabobo. Yung alam nila yung tama at gagawin nilang mali. Mas mahal yun, yung pababobo. Yan <laughs> yung termino namin. At nakakalungkot. And it happens not only in... Uh, yeah, it happens in different uh, agencies of government. Kaya nga, Mr. Chairman, if I may, bago tayo magwakas, gusto ko lang balikan siguro yung BIT. Worried kasi ako dun sa visa upon arrival. This is really dangerous, Mr. Chairman, not only for our peace and order situation, But in the future, who knows, for our national security as well. Kasi alam niyo, Mr. Chairman, minsan madalas ako magbisikleta rito sa mga area ng Pogo, sa mga umuwa. Minsan nakikita ko, alam mo na maitsura ng Pogo eh. Mukhang, mukhang, gam, mukhang ano lang, manunugal. Pero may mga iba, Mr. Chairman, mga Chinese, agaganda ng tindig. Alam mo kung chato at iba yung tayo. Di ba? Makikita mo naman ang diferensya. So, um, very, very crucial po rito ang BID because you are the front line. Kayo ang nagbabantay kung sino nakapasok at dumalabas sa, at, sa ating bansa. Yung po sa visa upon arrival, I understand it's already suspended. Pero ano ba naging rational nito, DEPCOM? Bakit nagkaroon ng ganitong policy ang, uh, ang, uh, ang uh, BID? Bakit nagkaroon ng visa upon arrival? Um, as far as I can recall, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, way back 2017, it was uh, an agreement between uh, DOJ and DOT uh, to boost the tourism. Uh, At then, to encourage tourism. So, kumbaga, inano natin yung in-offer natin na you will be given issued visa upon arrival. But don't you think, uh, Depo, na this poses danger that, you know, hindi natin masabi. Like, aminado naman tayo, hindi pa tayo ganun ka-high tech, no? Hindi pa tapos yung computerization natin. Uh, in fact, yun yung isa sa mga gustong i-prioritize si Sec Boy Rebullia, na talagang lahat may data, meron tayong uh, uh, identification, lalo na po yung, uh, tawag doon, hindi rin fingerprint, yung... Uh, biometrics, uh, sa eyes, sa lahat. So, ang tanong ko lang po doon, how, how can, ang, I think this, ang pagiging crucial dito in, 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 uh, in our effort, really, to, uh, to protect us from this syndicates, from coming over, yung talagang data, no? na talagang ma-share natin sa PNP. Kasi, Mr. Chairman, pag may data po yan, alam nilang nandito, alam ang identity nila, hindi ko, ano yun, magdadalawang isip gawa ng kalukuhan yan eh. Pero kung ganito kaluwag, na nakakalungkot, even using identities of dead persons and what have you, eh maluwag kasi sa atin dito. Yung binanggit kanina ni Senator Aimee, yung pong big boss na nangyari po rito, totoo po yun, that was uh, early, late 90s, 2000, na uh, large criminal syndicate na South African, they operated because Mr. Chairman, ang kanilang rasyonal sa Pilipinas daw, hindi lang... Authorities, hindi lang polis, hindi lang uh, mga huwes, pati politiko, lahat daw nabibili. 
So, yun ang ano doon. Di ba kung mapapanood niyo po yun? I hope this this doesn't happen anymore. Mabago natin lahat. So, sa BID, um, ano po ang ano? Um, merong reports that overstay aliens, no? Siguro mga recipient to ng mga visa upon arrival, illegal aliens. Ang ano daw dito, lakarad, from anywhere from 200,000 to 2 million para lang maka-extend or they can stay here. Meron ba kayong ganung reports na nangyari? na na nasagap. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, meron pong reports na ganoon and then uh, uh, during the time of our uh, Commissioner Jaime Morente, nag-issue po siya ng uh, order to leave on all those uh, visa upon arrival na uh, grantees or recipients uh, for violating the condition of stay. Uh, things like 2,000 something, close to 3,000, Mr. Chair. Kailan po nangyari ito? Kasi Mr. Chairman, medyo ano rin. Eh? Kung ang Bureau of Customs, nagpapalusot sila ng mga country products, container bonds, no? yung maglalagay siguro from 60,000 to 100,000, ang assessment, 400,000 to 1 million, pero ang totoong pinapasok lang nila na entry, 60,000 lang, isang container bond. Dito po sa BID, Mr. Chairman, per person, 200,000 to 2 million. Ang... ang uh, ang ang uh, ang allegedly ang going rate para lang magstay sa sa ating bansa nakakalungkot so uh, what have, what has the bureau uh, what is the bureau doing about this para hindi na po mangyari to i know that secretary Remulla is reform oriented so ano na bang mga measures na ginawa niyo para hindi na matuloy itong uh, uh, hindi na mangyari yung visa upon arrival at yung mga nakinabang na 200,000 to 2 million na para magstay dito uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, first and foremost, sir, um, yung visa upon arrival, hindi po siya na-extend. So, any violation of such, uh, may corresponding uh, ano yun, uh, penalty, which is uh, are they either order to leave or uh, deportation. Yung nangyari po ito sometime on the third quarter of 2020, it was announced also sa, uh, sa mga press releases po ng Bureau of Immigration, Mr. Chairman. I hope uh, before end, Mr. Chair, that the BIT really has to step up as well as, as well as the PNP in preserving our climate that is conducive for business to grow. Kasi sabi ka, Mr. Chair, hindi lang criminal syndicates. No? From what we gather, there are Chinese Cambodians, Vietnamese Cambodians already coming in, do, uh, doing uh, their uh, criminal activities here. Probably, hindi lang yung nagsimula sa Pogo sa Pogo, ginagamit yung Pogo Avenue, pero they might be already engaging in other criminal acts. And again, in the future, baka mamaya yung, yung 20,000 to 2 million, ang kapalit po ito, Mr. Chairman, is our national security already in the future. No, yan ang babantayan nyo. Kasi nga, meron tayong dispute sa China, huwag yung kakalimutan. And di malayo na mamaya. Sabi ko, Mr. Chairman, ako nakikita ko, pag, alam naman natin, pag mukhang Pogo at mukhang, mukhang PLA o ito, uh, People's Liberation Army, ibang itsura eh. Iba yung tindig. Di ba? Makikita mo naman eh. Pag Pogo, parang happy go lucky lang yan na bugoy-bugoy. Di ba? Pero pag iba na yung tindig, marami po dito. Mr. Chen, na napapansin ko po talagang iba yung tindig. So, we really have to be careful. No? Nakakalungkot na, Mr. Chen. Marami sa atin self-inflicted wounds no? dahil sa mga ganitong kalakaran. Nakakapasok yung mga ganitong kriminal sa ating bansa. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Maraming salamat, uh, Senator JB. Thank you for uh, sharing that uh, information. Uh, meron pa bang hindi nakapagsalita? Ay, uh, pakinggan natin. Wala na, okay na tayo. Meron ka pang dagdag? Yes, yeah. sir. Sir, from the PNP point of view, the uh, subject matter for this are the victims of the Pogo-related kidnapping, sir. And if it is possible that those Pogo operators could give either to the Dole or whatever the agency an updated list of their employees regular so we could track them if there are employee if there are employees that are not in good hands uh, a classic example is the rescue 42 uh, workers in pampanga and so if that company is giving us the complete report then we could monitor if there are problems with their workers or not Thank you, Mr. Chair. Paano sila magbigay ng report sa iyo na sila nga mismo ang uh, nagkikidnap, naghuhurd ng kanilang mga tao against their will? Di ba? Rescue nyo doon? Yeah. So, 
Nahirap talaga. But then again, alam na natin, pag-core, that, that's your job. Yung pag-monitor ng mga workers ng uh, Ugo na yan, uh, i-require nyo sila mag-submit ng mga pangalan palagi para masisit, masi-check ng PNP kung membro ba nila ito eh, hindi or uh, they are hold, holding this uh, people against their will. Uh, alam mo na, uh, we, we need, we need uh, cooperations from uh, every agency. Yes, Mr. Chair. Actually, Mr. Chair, prior to this meeting, we have already instructed our licensed POGO operators to update us with their list of employees. And we have instructed likewise um, for us to be updated every month or if there are any changes po, uh, earlier. So we could furnish this kinds of information, Mr. Chair, to our partner agencies, including the PNP, Mr. Chair. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, you want to add something? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I just want to point out something. No? Uh, I think what the Chinese community uh, uh, is more concerned no, is the is the uh, kidnap uh, the kidnap for kidnap for ransom, uh, which involve uh, previous previously they just kidnap people and then when you pay the ransom, you will be released. But nowadays, they kidnap the person. After they pay, they, they pay the ransom, they are still being sold to, to other groups, other kidnapped groups. So that is the most important uh, thing that the Chinese community are worried. As far as the uh, POCO-related uh, abductions or kidnappings are concerned. Sir, uh, excuse me. You sinabi mo ngayon na pag nagbayad ng ransom money, Binibinta na naman. Ito ba ang mga suspect nito, Pilipino o Chinese? Uh, I think uh, the, that, that's why uh, I think we have to ask the uh, authorities or the uh, law enforcement agencies to verify on these issues now because uh, I think we have already identified that some of these uh, syndicates are from Vietnam, some are from Cambodia. They may, they may uh, look Chinese, no? Chinese looking. But they are not Chinese. They are Vietnamese or uh, uh, Cambodian syndicates who came to the Philippines and to uh, commit these crimes. Uh, so that's what we are worried. Now, as far as uh, the poco related uh, abductions or kidnappings, these are, we can maybe classify this as the human trafficking. They are uh, getting the people and then they sell to, to other poco companies. Uh, so... I think we have to differentiate differentiate the this these two uh, cases. So what uh, the Chinese community are more alarmed are the the real kidnap groups. No, let's say those people coming from Cambodia or from Vietnam. And of course that uh, we need the cooperation of the Bureau of Immigration because they are the frontliners. They are the one who will, will, will know from the base on the data of arrivals. As we can we know that for the last three years. China has been very strict in uh, allowing the nationals, Chinese nationals, to go out of the country. So I would say that for the last three years, there are very few, if not uh, very isolated cases, that Chinese are allowed to, to get out of China and come to the Philippines. Chinese coming from, the, from mainland to the Philippines. But from other countries, like Chinese looking, as I said, uh, Cambodians, uh, Vietnamese, they are they, they they can come. They can come via maybe from uh, from Ho Chi Minh City or Vietnam uh, or, or Saigon or uh, or Bangkok. No, so I think the BID has those figures, and uh, and if you can share this data to the PNP, uh, that will be a great help uh, because we also re receive report that uh, most of these uh, syndicates are, are, are from those countries. And of course, uh, we know that uh, they are foreigners, and they 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 do not uh, they are not so familiar with the Philippine situation. So probably there are also some uh, scalawags uh, in in, uh, in the uh, in the Philippines who are in cohorts of these uh, syndicates. So that is the thing that we have to uh, look into. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Again, uh, we cannot uh, underscore. Are there the importance of Bureau of Immigration 
uh, you are always the first line of defense. Ang PNP, second line of defense na yan. Pag nakapasok na siya, saka pa ang PNP mag-action sa mga ginagawa nilang krimen. Pero kayo talaga, you are the first line of defense. Very important po talaga yan yung trabaho ninyo. So, again, uh, it was already... Wala na magsalita? Okay na tayo lahat? Ah, sir. Sir, uh, Dr. Henry Lim Bon Leong. Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just received, uh, I think late last night, a social uh, message regarding that uh, there were 233 Chinese uh, suspects uh, on fraud in Cambodia being extradited to China. And they will be facing that penalty, you know. So uh, what, maybe uh, if we have this uh, Chinese mastermind of kidnapping, whatever, maybe you can talk to the Chinese embassy or the Chinese government. We we'll just have them extradited to China. They are going to be able to do it. And what we have to do is, you said, with the fiscal, sometimes there is no evidence. We don't have to do it, whatever. And then uh, there are also a very gruesome you know, video here. I do not know whether it is uh, fake or it's real, and I'll show you to, to you later on, that those, uh, uh, those that were suspect of fraud lang yan, ha? fraud lang yan, were being, uh, ano, talagang executed, ano, isang bala lang yan sa, sa likod ng, ano, ng dito. I'll just show you later on na lang, but this is what they are doing, no? kaya yung mga, yung mga criminals uh, na pupunta dito sa Pilipinas kasi wala tayong death penalty, saka very relaxed siguro ang mga that's why we are calling for very you know, strict uh, law enforcement and also the you know, you know, justice system. Nothing. Again, thank you. Uh, at least uh, I can go back uh, to our Filipino Chinese community and assure them that uh, they are in good hands. Uh, the whole PNP is here. That they assure us that uh, most of these uh, incidents are not really uh, kidnapped for ransom like before, but it's mostly on focus and uh, at least. We will allay the fears of the, our Filipino Chinese brothers. Thank you again. Thank you very much, sir, for that input. Na napakagandang comment po yun, coming from you. Uh, again, uh, our uh, proceedings were already wrapped up by uh, Senator uh, Ivy Marcos. Ito lang masasabi ko, my part. Again, uh, dito sa PNP, please. Continue what do you are doing right now. Nagikita ko ang ganda na lang ginagawa niyo mga police visibility. Kahit saan may makita kang police. Uh, pagpatuloy lang niyo yan. At uh, uh, alam ko marami nagmumulitor sa atin ngayon. General Chiquito Malayo, uh, you ha can you give the assurance to the Filipino people that uh, everything is under control and uh, wala silang dapat ikatakot? Are you sure? Okay. Mga kababayan, sabi ng PNP, huwag tayo matakot at uh, everything is under control. Huwag tayo magpapatinag, huwag tayo magpapatakot yan sa mga video na yan dahil most of those uh, uh, heinous videos being distributed were, uh, were not uh, happening here in our uh, Philippine soil. So huwag po kayo matakot. Tuloy ang ating uh, ginagawa at uh, we need your cooperation. Everyone's cooperation. As I've said again, all of government approach, BID, PAGCOR, uh, DOLE, uh, DSWD, NBI, at saka yung ating mga, mga Chinese uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, lahat ng stakeholders dito. Uh, magtutulungan tayo para naman ito para sa atin naman ito uh, huwag nating palalain ang situation by spreading uh, uh, unnecessary information that uh, unconfirmed information that would make our people uh, uh, afraid or uh, uh, be you know uh, takot na takot yung mga kababayan natin nagmumonitor sa mga balita uh, yun lang po ang hindi ko sa inyo Hindi lang whole of government approach, whole of nation approach ito. Gawin natin kasi kasama na yung ating mga sibilya sector. So, yun lang po. Again, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdating. Your uh, contributions to this uh, uh, hearing are very, very important, very valuable. Maraming salamat po. At uh, to the PNP, thank you for 
giving the assurance to the Filipino people that uh, everything is under control. At sana wala na mangyari pang kidnapping, ha? ha? So, tuloy-tuloy nyo yung ginagawa ninyo. And that all uh, our uh, government agencies na dito ngayon, salamat for uh, agreeing with me that we need everyone's cooperation. So from here, I, do, I think uh, we don't need in another uh, hearing. So this uh, hearing is uh, hereby adjourned. Thank you. Maraming salamat.